shit. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. How's it going? What are we making fun of? What and or who? <laughs> Thank hmm? you. 300 bucks in Vegas? That's what I like to hear. Good shit. Going to Vegas and just paying for your trip with gambling is one of the coolest things. That is, that's happened to me before, before I stopped gambling. I went to Vegas more than once. All my friends didn't like that. <laughs> they didn't like that shit one bit. But, uh, I mean, what do you want me to do, man? It's not my fault. Thank you. Uh, but I would, like, go and it you would just gamble a little bit and win, like, 500 bucks and that's it. And not gamble again and just pay for your whole trip. Free trip? Sweet. Maybe buy everyone lunch? Good times. 3,000 smackers on your first Vegas trip? I don't know if that's a good thing. That's kind of like one of those things where if you open a treasure box, like a jar on the floor, and you drop a divine out of it, that's cool, except now you're going to have to open every fucking jar for the rest of your life. So I don't know if that's a good thing. Uh, in the long run, winning big on your first trip to Vegas, I don't know. But still, it's lucky. It really depends on what you do after this point. Mm. Anyway, cool. Cool. Thanks, Prince of Pizza and Incredible Hulk. Thanks, Draven, Thank you. Castco, uh, Jalopy. Thanks, Manny and Theonidas and Zewit. Thanks for the Tier 3. Happy New Year <laughs> and you. Big Friday. Thanks, Significant Bits and Necrotics. And thanks, Damadome, Damadome, or whatever. Good shit. Feeling good. Uh, what? Do they still have free <laughs> drinks you. and shitty $1 blackjack tables? What? Uh, you have to tip the waitress, so they're not free, but, um, yeah, you could do that. I used to think it's a good strat to, like, sit next to your homies at, like, a slot machine and order the drinks and, like, drink and just watch other people lose money. But then I started doing that with people that lose their money so fucking fast that I don't get time to get my drink. Like I sit down, I call the lady, all right, let me get a whatever it's called. And then they go. And by the time I turn back, no pants already lost all his money and he's leaving. And now I'm stuck here waiting for this drink. So the strat didn't work that well uh, in the long run. And that happened... A few times, actually. So, you know, maybe there's a better play. I haven't been to Vegas in a long time. But, um, I love it. I love Vegas. And I love casinos. They're awesome. <laughs> They're buzzing. Thank you. But I don't gamble. Uh, thanks, Weapon X. Damn. Uh, thanks, Eurexa. And Young Gellion. Thanks, bros. I got a bone to pick with the Black Knight. You guys got anything else going on today? Any issues? Harada's getting all twisted on Twitter with people saying shit about Tekken 8. It's pretty funny. He gets baited pretty hard. Yeah, I saw that. Some like person is really pissed off about how there aren't enough black people or any black people in Tekken 8. <laughs> Man, that's crazy how you could just say whatever you want. Aren't there, like, at least two? It's pretty weird. But... This is cool. I guess there's... You know, he finds something to do. At this point, I feel like people could just mess with him. You know? Bring back Bruce. Man, if we got... If that's what we gotta do to get Bruce back, I'm in. I'm offended, too, if that's the case. Uh, Bruce was tight. Yeah, Raven's awesome, dude. I mean, I liked Master Raven, too. I'm not a hater, but this new Raven, which looks like T5 Raven, especially the one that's like a real ninja, the outfit. He's that ninja. Cool. The hype is growing, that's for sure. The Tekken 8 excitement, at least for me, it's getting close. 20 days. I forgot to ask about early access. If there's any early access, I hope they give it to me. But 
I guess you have to ask, right? Maybe I'll ask. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Bosley. What's up, man? Hey, how's that car of yours? I really need to get off my ass and do something about my car. Um, this guy bought a cool car a while ago. I'm ready to fire this shit up. I got a bone to pick. And I'm, I got good at the run, which was pretty neat. Let's see here. Two, three clicks. Nice. No, not nice. Fucked up. Korean barbecue. That shit's really good. Except I really, really hate having to cook my own food. I didn't realize how big of a minus that is on the overall Korean barbecue experience until I tried really good Brazilian barbecue. Because when you're sitting there eating Brazilian barbecue and it's so delicious, and then you think about, man, if this was Korean barbecue, I'd be fucking doing stupid shit with scissors and fucking, uh-oh, this is burning, oh boy. You know, like, it's just like, man, you know, the shit's expensive too, comparable in price, and and they just bring you meat. And they cut that shit, f like, you know, clean off the skewer. Keeping it clean, good shit, good shit. That's a dope car. Mm, where'd the sound go? Oh, oh, you could see, nice, that was easy. Hold on, don't forget to drink water. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. South American barbecue greater than Korean barbecue? Well, look, at this point, I feel like if you don't have to cook it yourself, it gets bonus points. Cooking it yourself really is a big negative. Big. I didn't think it was that big when I was younger, though. It's just maybe now that I'm getting older, it's just the value of your dollar. It really, you feel like an idiot. It's like taking your car to the mechanic, but only using their lift and laying under there and doing your own fucking shit. Like, what the hell am I doing here? I'm just using your lift? I'm using your oven? This sucks. You know? It doesn't make sense to me at this age. Especially when the price is going to be so comparable. You know? And don't get me wrong. I fucking love Korean barbecue. Especially, you know, those tortillas they give you? They got these weird square tortillas that are, like, real wet and sticky. You put the meat in that shit, and then you dip it in some whatever. Whew, right down the hatch. Rice paper, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I do like Korean barbecue, obviously. It's just that... You know, cooking that shit fucking sucks. And you know, I don't know about you, but it almost feels like you always got to do the cooking. Because if you let someone else, most of the time the people you go to Korean barbecue with are fucking scrubs. You got to take over. So that means if you take over, then you're doing all this fucking bullshit. And probably you're paying too. So you're over here. Not only are you at a restaurant paying a shitload of money for someone else, but you're also basically there. You're serving them. Oh, you want some more pork? This is almost done. Well, how about some of this? You want some more of this? Like, what am I, your fucking waiter? I'm your waiter and I'm paying for your meal too? This sucks. Let me just say, uh, Brazilian barbecue. Brazilian barbecue, check it out. It's quite the experience and delicious. If you go to a good place. <laughs> I've been to mid. I mean, there's mid of everything, of course. You know, that's the way the world works. Very female. <laughs> Thank you. Deprived. I had so much fun playing this last time. What's my shit? Twin Humanities. Damn, he's good. Uh, average. Commoner. Hold up. Where's the one I like? The princess. Alright, what's my name? Vagina? Alright, let's keep it simple. Huh? Hello? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Vagina. Uh, hey, thanks. Titty Power and Jerk and Turd Tack. Hey, Aaron Oreo. Thanks, guys. Happy New Year. Thanks, Drongo. X. X. Okay.
Okay. Baby girl? <laughs> Baby girl? Do I look attractive to you? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean, baby girl, dude? Baby girl? <laughs> Thank you. Baby girl. Thanks, Gavins. Happy Big Friday, bros. <clears throat> Watched a bunch of that guy's videos. The rainbow lighter is crazy. Yeah, he's got a he's got a lot of not funny videos, just like you would imagine. But some of them are very good. I don't like when he is. I don't like it when anyone pranks a stranger in a way that is like you. You could really easily go too far, and I'm not interested in that kind of behavior because <laughs> I've you. seen things go too far in front of me. <laughs> And Thank you can't do that. You know, it's just playing a prank on the wrong person. People are, Thank you. you know, life is full of stress and you don't know who you're fucking with. That's something you have to be always mindful of. So, yes, people get shot IRL over pranks. Thank you. Exactly. And it doesn't even matter if it's a prank. Like at the end, they go, dude, I'm just playing a prank. Oh, yeah, cool. You're dead. Cool prank. Like, do you think some fucking psychopath gives a shit? No way. You know, you just disrespected him. And now you're dead. <laughs> you know? Easy. Simple as that. Mm, anyway, yeah. So that's that. I don't really like those kinds of pranks. But in a lot of those videos, he doesn't really do anything. All he does, for example, is give them a pink lighter, lighter instead of a... You know? Like, he doesn't really really do anything it's just highlighting how aggressively like homophobic i guess if you want to call it that those guys are the way they the, all they do is they see the pink lighter and they start barking like the way a dog gets triggered like by a mailman they start barking and knocking over their instinct is to knock over the doritos you know like, how are you going to become physically aggressive and knock over Doritos? Over He didn't even do anything. He just gave you a pink lighter. It could have been an honest mistake. You know, that's the part that I find fascinating and funny. You know, even that baby girl guy. Like, dude, you know. <laughs> dude, that shit was so funny when he called him pumpkin pie. <laughs> because oh man I love that I love that video it's just truly a really good video it just shows so much about human nature <laughs> that was funny okay got this bitch pumpkin pie he could not believe it. He had to break character. You know what that video reminded me of? It reminded me of those, you know, those like behind the scenes of like Seinfeld or whatever where Elaine can't stop laughing because Frank Costanza is just so funny. You know, that's what that reminded me of. Like he was not supposed to break character. He was supposed to stay pissed and be a hard motherfucker and threaten him and shit. But he couldn't resist, dude. <laughs> Pumpkin pie? He couldn't believe it. <laughs> that was tight. I like that. Good shit. It's too bad, like, it would be nice if you could, like, go to Twitter and guarantee that you'll only see shit like that. But, unfortunately, you see some fucking whack shit on Twitter. I'm just about... The coolest shit you see on Twitter is the weird sex bots that retweet your tweets from like a year ago. That's really like the coolest shit these days. <laughs> right? You look at Twitter and everything else sucks so bad, dude. And then you look at like what's going on and it's like, whoa, what the hell? What is this retweet from a year ago? And then you look at the account and that shit says put some bikini or whatever. Cool. 
Twitter's all ads now. That shit got weird. I mean, it's not like it was never not weird. It was always weird and kind of whack. But whatever. I never got into, like... Facebook or MySpace, so I figured... Actually, you know how I ended up getting into Twitter? I went to Japan the first time, which was a long time ago. Uh, I went to Japan, I think it was in 2010. Maybe. Something like that. And... I made all these friends in Japan with all these Japanese people. And they were all about Twitter for some reason. I don't really know why. The whole time I was there, they were like, oh, what's your Twitter? Let's stay in touch, you know? And so I didn't have one, so I was like, fuck it. I'll get a Twitter to keep in touch with all the these Japanese friends I made. And that was before I even had, like, a stream or anything. So I figured once I started doing all that shit, I would just, like, keep the same accounts. Fuck it. But I never got a Facebook Oh, I did get a Facebook once. I think I got a Facebook to get into E3. I think, like, my Facebook was, like, Terry Bogard or some shit like that. Because you needed a Facebook to register or something. So I made a Facebook named Terry Bogard. And one year I was walking around at E3 with a badge that said Terry Bogard. And they would, they would like, scan it and be like, oh, right this way, Terry, Mr. Bogard. <laughs> Cool. We used to do all kinds of cheating ways to get into E3. That was like what you do. Cheat your way into E3. Uh, thanks, Plague of Souls. What's up, dude? Hey, thanks for the resub. Happy New Year. Thanks, Rampage and Zalamander and... Jesus and Jerk and Coleslaw and Jack Fro and Watermelon and Zakaria. Thanks, Mind Heist and Gevins. Happy Big Friday. What did you say? Man, this you guys talk fast sometimes and this game doesn't let me use my mouse. Uh where you get a reporter? Yeah. What? Oh, were you able to get a reporter? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, thanks. Got a new job, put in my two-week notice today. Cool. Congrats. I hope you like it. Thanks, DeBasey Finest. That's nice of you. Why are you guys calling me blonde and making fun of me? This time, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Uh, I got a mission to do here. Um, what's the mission? I have five humanity. Where do you get the rest of them? Didn't I have more than that? Anyway, I gotta go downstairs and kill the Black Knight. So I'm gonna go down there. And then when I'm down there, I'm gonna use these humanities and then kill that motherfucker. And he gives me, he has a one in five chance to drop his axe. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I want. And that's what I'm gonna get. Thanks, silent, whatever. Appreciate it. I got the power, dude. <clears throat> and I'm ready for battle. Capcom Cup is soon, right? Man, they really fucked that whole thing up by making all the events online. Online, dude. That shit single-handedly killed fighting games. And it did it so slowly and in so such a, like, silent and bullshit way that no one even realized that it happened. You know? Because all these people got fucking tricked into the idea of things like um, netcode and 
and what's that shit called? That buzzword that everyone says? Um, what's it called? Rollback. That's it. Rollback. Everyone got so distracted by rollback. This game has rollback. That game has rollback. They didn't realize that it doesn't fucking matter if a fighting game has rollback or not. Nobody gives a fuck about online. In the long run, nobody gives a fuck about online. And the proof is in the pudding. Nobody gives a fuck about online. That's it. <laughs> you know? It needs live events. You need to get used to going to live events. That's it. And even then, barely anyone gives a fuck about on uh, offline. Even offline. It's pretty crazy. People didn't... It's a culture thing, I think. The slow and, like, eventual acceptance as online being good and valuable, which it's not a bad... Per se, it's not a bad thing. Yeah, it's valuable. It's good. But becoming... It becoming the norm easily is one of the biggest problems. Normalizing online as like a competitive standard, the way Capcom did, and the way some of the other Ah, fuck! Scared and scared twice. Hey, thanks. Just a sec. I got, I gotta kill these dudes. I forgot about Saga over there too. Tbh, I could probably like. Oh man. Son of a bitch. Oh, and you got a flip. All right, dude, that's very funny. I'm just gonna run for it. Ah! God, this guy's a bitch. Hold on, eyes on the road. You just gotta do this, easily. Then this guy psycho crushers and whiffs. Then I just... Ah! No, my life! Ah! Fuck! Let me try that again. Uh, hey, thanks, 1-800-588-2300-EMPIRE. Nice try. Uh, thanks, Danny. Dropped a simplex amulet in Grand Heist. Holy moly. Nice work. That's a big fucking jackpot. Nice, man. Thanks, Deus Nasu. I got a Henna Koras lock two days ago. Man, I'm trying to level to a hundred. I died twice yesterday. Pissed me off so much. Some fucking stupid mob. Pissed me off so much. <laughs> I'm a, I was at 99 and a half, and I died twice. Fucking pissed. That league mechanic, dude. That shit really gets some, you know. Um, hey, thanks, Quantavian. And Danny, Danny Trejo's chest tattoo. And Sapphire, Silent Herb. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Uh, you can get four humanity if you kill but Patches. Jack He's in the catacombs. Nah, fuck the catacombs. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Favorite catalog? And then I thought about it. Well, happened to know the answer to that question. <laughs> All right. I'll give it up. We'll give it up. <laughs> Thank you. Favorite catalog. I was like, what? Favorite catalog? <laughs> Alright, I'll give it up, you motherfucker. That was clever. You. You're a little clever bitch. Thanks. The craziest thing is when you go to malls, the Sears is still empty. Like, they never replaced Sears with anything. It's just a big-ass empty place that used to be Sears. Weird. It's like it's cursed. No business can survive in this building. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Don't do it, bitch. Uh, thanks, Irregular Hunter and Huey De La Hue. And Leonidas and Mauroso and everyone. Thanks. Thanks, Mo. 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 Motto. Favorite catalog? <laughs> Favorite catalog. Catalog. 
Thanks, Billy Hoyle. Thanks, man. What the fuck? Try aiming. Right here. Perfect execution. Okay. I also have to kill him. <laughs> Thank you. I wonder if there's some kind of sticky white stuff that I can get to put on my weapon to make this fight easier. You know? Have you considered that to make this run, like, smoother? Do I have any? Maybe I have something. No. Maybe there's something around Thank town you. that you can, like, get. I have to dispatch these skeletons, though. Like, I could just go for it. I wonder if I could... Nah, see, they wake up. The thing is... These guys get involved in the fight. And you can't kill them as far as I know. The Sagat that's keeping them alive is somewhere around here. I don't really know what to do about this. One choice is to just knock them off the cliff. Hmm. Yeah, fall off the cliff, exactly. Alright, I will. It just takes a while. Not a while, but... You know, you gotta kite them. Undead Berg has some lightning resin. Undead Berg, huh? Uh, wonder if it's worth running over there. Probably not. Agreed. <laughs> Thank you. I think this is worth it. Because the whole run can be dead if these assholes are in the fight. You know? Oh, there's exploding skulls here. Where'd the other guy go? Hey. No. What? Oh! Oh! Ah! Fucking stupid bitch. Oh, God. All right, all right. Fucking run for it. All right, they're going to lose me, right? If I go fast... If I go fast, they're probably... Oh, they're probably rolling. Don't roll. They roll fast. Come on. No stamina having ass. Okay. No! No! Ah! I fucking forgot about the damage from the... <sighs> Let me try that again. Uh, thanks, uh, Derry and Talon Shadow. And thanks, Shusuki. And prone in the bush. Thanks. Thanks again, Billy Hoyle. Fuck. I got it this time. I mean, that that was a decent idea. Because I, I, they got kited so far away that I could have probably fallen into the boss fight. Or not boss fight. Regular fight. And they would have lost me. I would have been out of their range. <laughs> Thank you. LOS. Thanks, Clyfoth. And thanks. Uh, let's get this out on a tray. <laughs> thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh oh. No sneezing. You ever done a Z Way Hander run? No. Because that weapon sucks. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. I don't even give a fuck about that weapon. I just wanted to insult you. Oh! Did it work? Z-Way is very fun. Actually, I think I probably have used it. I've probably used all of the big weapons. Hey, thanks. Uh, Eris about to yawn? You know I don't... I don't... Have you ever heard me yawn? <laughs> 
Have you ever heard me yawn? Yeah? Come on, be honest. <laughs> Thank you. You've heard me yawn. Yawn. <sighs> that type of a yawn. Come on, think about it. I have not yawned like that on stream. Not that I can think of. If it's happened, it's been like either a long time or, or I don't know. During Jeff Keighley's birthday? Yeah, that doesn't count though. You know, I'm just making jokes. I mean a real yawn. It's unlikely. How's yawning more outrageous than burping? I didn't say anything about anything being outrageous. I just said that I don't do it. On stream. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think that... I don't personally, in my personal life, find burping to be very, like, Thank you. doesn't, it's like, whatever. I don't give a fuck about it. And that's how I would behave among friends. So if you want to be perceived by me as a friend, then I, unless you don't want to be invited, I guess that's fine too. But that's just how it is. Okay, now run. Don't forget about your legs, though. I think I lost him. Ugh. He's down here. Don't do it, bitch. He can, like, attack you right when you fall like a fucking anti-air. Okay, now all I gotta do is make sure the other guys... Oh, I didn't eat the fucking humanity! Oh, sh I knew I was forgetting something. How the hell am I gonna do this now? I can't go downstairs. You can't equip to your belt. Thank you. Oh, sh oh, fuck, that hurt. Oh, what? Oh, no. I can't see shit! Ah! This is my last Estus. Okay, okay. Great. Okay, but this is not that big of a deal because my, my souls are down there with him. So what I'll do is this time, okay, this plant, this new plant, I'm going to eat the humanities now, right? All of them. Then I'm going to go down there and get those souls, then kill him in one swoop. Without dying again, of course. Uh, this is a terrible idea. Watch this. Uh, thanks, Iron Chef Barnes and Niruz. And thanks, Enfang and God Murky and Joseph and Green Gobbler. Thanks, Rosebud and Bongwater Trope and Huey Doobie. Thank you. And thanks, Cly Foth and Mango. Thanks. I think it's gonna go fine. I got the four humanity here. There's two humanity on the floor next to the Black Knight. Ah, excuse me. It should be pretty smooth and I know exactly what to do. I got a foil tabula. Dude, I got a foil tabula too from a Voidborn Reliquary key. I did get two pretty good things from those this uh, league. I got a... The one thing I got on stream, that ring, it sold for a divine. And I got one other thing that was worth about a divine, but I can't remember what it was. What was it? I sold it for a divine, whatever it was. Can't remember. 
It was whack. <laughs> Whatever the fuck it was. Something worth the divine. But I must have opened like 10 or 20 of those this league. Those are always so shitty. Average return of 5 chaos, but they cost like a divine each. What the hell? Cliff. Okay. The old Harrison Ford. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, don't fuck this up. My suit. Okay. Now. I got two humanity on the floor and there's two skeletons in the way. I like that plan of just... Getting, you don't even have to knock them off the cliff. Hey, wake up, both of you. Dude, what the fuck? The other one doesn't aggro. Did it aggro? Other guy, hello. Yes! Over here, bitch. Don't get stuck. Where's the other guy? Nice. Okay. Now, if he goes overboard, let him go overboard. But what the fuck? You know what, dude? I'm out of here. Fuck these guys. No stamina. Hurry up. Okay. Your legs. Okay. My soul's gotta be down there. Okay. Ah. Now it's on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't go over the cliff, dude. If he goes over the cliff, it's over. Bec what was that? Oh, no! Oh, fucking shit, dude. How does this shit happen? Those fucking guys! Oh, God, there's three guys! This sucks ass. I think my best... Oh, fuck. Not that I'll have a choice. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, shit. Alright, yeah. So my best bet is what I was saying. My best bet will be to just die and then do the same thing I did last time, except this time make sure the skeletons don't get involved. So, alright. New solution. That was a good solution, but... I gotta get rid of those skeletons. Hello and welcome to Movie Club. Hey, thanks. Uh, whatever this name is. And Sony Knight. Thanks, Gashunk. And Sonic Kara. And thanks, Shinra. If you reload after. Oh, why? What? The chat moved and I have to look at the road. I have four human six humanities on the floor, dude. No messing around. Alright? No messing. Pretty sure the Black Knight in the forest drops the halberd. Yeah, this is the only one that drops the axe this early in the game. The one in the forest drops the halberd. The one in the other part drops the big sword. And the other one drops the great sword. There's a great sword and an ultra great sword. They drop what they're holding. What the fuck, dude? Oh! I hate it when shit like that happens, dude. That guy was not aim. Oh my. Don't fuck this up. Oh! I'm about to fuck this up.
Hey, thanks very much, Shinra. Man, that sucked. I don't have any humanities anymore, so now if I kill the Black Knight, it's just gonna be straight bald. No humanity. The run's not bricked. He could still drop it. He could still drop it. I just don't have humanity. Man, this fucking... Do you guys know which Sagat keeps those guys alive? Maybe I could kill that Sagat. But I don't know which one it is. There is a lady around there. I don't know which one. Hey, thanks. Just a sec. Could it be this one? It could be this one. Could it be this one? You little... Oh! Oh, God. I don't have to deal with two skeletons right now. Maybe it's this one. There's one all the way at the bottom? What do you mean all the way at the bottom? It's not this one, huh? Maybe it is. All the way at the bottom? Oh my god, this sucks! Oh my god, fuck this, I'm out! Don't do it. Oh! Bro, cutting me off at the pass. And they always is this gonna break my legs. Oh! Oh! All right, let me try that again. I'm just still warming up, dude. And there's so many fucking skeletons. Uh, thanks, Cam and Solid Seth. Thanks, my brother, B Law. Hey, thanks, Hakari Seven Ultra. Skeletons. Yeah, Capcom Cup will be fun to watch. With the chat, at least. Maybe someone will make a funny joke. You know? That happens pretty often, you know? I can. Sometimes I can tell, like, I'm gonna laugh today because of what we're watching or what we're playing I guess depends speaking of remember that titty game you guys gotta let me know when the new one comes out vampire mansion the devs of vampire mansion are making a new game it's on my radar I don't know what it's called but I'm sure it's gonna have gigantic tits oh Dude, this is bullshit. Get off my fucking plane! Ah! <laughs> Thank you. Is this guy serious? I can't believe this guy shows up too. Oh man, the sidestepping too. The sidestepping, it's so fucking annoying. Stupid gymnastics. Okay. Now I got these two pendejos. You know, you're better off being patient. What is he doing? Be patient. Oh! Fucking stupid skeleton cocks. Sidestepping. Oh! Still good. Still good. It's still good. Jesus. Nice. Okay. 
Now, I can take my time and not fuck this up. Nice suit. Okay. Now, these guys are going to ruin the fucking operation. So I need to remove them from the operation. Man, that game sucked. I had that game. I thought it sucked. You know a game I liked? Perfection. There was a game called Perfection. It had like all these shapes and you had to put all the shapes in the holes before that shit ran out of time and it was like a jump scare. It was like a high stress type of a game. It was pretty cool. I like that game. Perfection. And I liked Monopoly and Scrabble. Scrabble? Is that what? Yeah, Scrabble. That was cool. What the fuck? This guy at it again. Watch out for exploding skulls. Maybe I should blow this guy right now. Oh, two of them. Okay, that... This leaves one guy. Hey, thanks, Kadrell. And thanks, GG Machine and Strike First Guard. And Cam. Thanks, bros. You can't kill these dudes. You have to, like, um... Knock them off the cliff. Because of some Sagat somewhere. Apparently all the way at the bottom, though. I don't remember that. I guess it makes sense. Slow as fuck. Hurry up. Patience. Will be rewarded. What is this son of a bitch doing? Does he know? He must know my plan. There he goes. He woke up. Oh. Fucking kick this son of a bitch. Lost all my humanities because of that jerk off. All right, well, uh, now it's just me and the Black Knight with no humanity, so this is going to require extra luck. Damn it. Remember, I mean, all humanity does is give you a higher chance that they'll drop two items, right? He's going to drop an item. And hopefully it'll be what I want. Yeah. Oh no. No, no, don't don't go overboard, amigo. Yeah, that's cool. Twenty percent drop rate, yeah, one in five I know. It'd be cool if I did a little more damage, but it's alright. The skeletons won't come back now. I got rid of them, remember? That was the plan. See shit, cameraman. The plan has come together. It would have been nice if I Yeah if I didn't lose my humanity, but I guess this is still a button check, to be fair. Ugh. Don't do that, you son of what are you doing? You know what's cool about these guys? They don't fucking drink Estes. That's what's cool about them. They have honor. I like that. Nice, he's dead. Give it to me. He didn't give it to me. Fuck. Try again. Man. 
That was a doozy of a try. What's her name now? Baby girl? Edna? Linda? Monty? Muff? All these names fucking suck, dude. It's gotta be funny. Dude, it's crazy searching through all these shitty jokes like in some weird bargain bin. Like, I'm dying to find a deal on a laugh here. Anything. Is there a fucking laugh in here anywhere, dude? This thing's full of fucking trash. DVDs of Hunt for Red October and shit. What the fuck, dude? Nobody likes these movies. Uh, hey, thanks, Kadrill. Listen. Uh, your naming skills are fucking el terrible. Large Marge is good enough. Large Marge. That's a pretty good name. I'll give it up. Stupid bitch. Uh, what? F wrong button. Large Marge. Sex. Very female. Class. Uh, deprived, gift, twin humanity, physique, average, face, commoner, hold up, uh, bun, color, hold up. Huh? Thank you. Okay to start the game with this character? Yes. Uh, thanks, Sardanese. Alright, simple as that. I kind of feel myself having to take a little whiz. Am I on the money? Almost! Damn, that's tight. I didn't look into that. Remember I said I wanted to get something that's going to um, like make a noise on my phone every hour? Huh? Hey, thanks, Bong Fleshlight Combo. You're not making any sense. Yeah, like an hourglass. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it. Right on the money. Uh, man, talking to you guys... You can feel yourself getting dumber. Shit. Uh, whatever. What were we talking about before that? Oh yeah, that chime shit. I didn't do it, but I'm gonna do it. I think it's a great idea. There are like a few things that I wouldn't mind being reminded of every hour. Raised in please. Hey, thanks. Did you miss spell? <laughs> Is that a typo? <laughs> Raisden? The fuck is that, dude? Rolling for Raisden? Hey, thanks. Spunky and daily raid and roll. You didn't miss spell that one. Hey, one out of two ain't bad. Uh, thanks. Thanks, guys. Gonna roll up a fart, J. Cool. Enjoy. Whatever. Ah, fuck. This game have invisible walls like Elden Ring? Um... Yeah. I think so.
Easy. Is that the door to the exit? Or is it the other one? This is the right one. All right, I'm making good time. All I gotta do really is get to the Black Knight and be patient with those skeletons. Break time, Shalashaska. Okay, let me get to the Firelink Shrine. And then after the break, I'm ready for battle. Oh. Get my strength up. Man, it's pretty cool how I've fine-tuned, you know, this plan of mine. You get this, these humanities. I've fine-tuned it. Now it's merely a matter of executing. Turn over the hourglass. Shut up, bitch. Thanks, forward life. I've been getting pretty good at being nice, did you notice? Especially for someone who's only four days in. That's pretty good. Uh... If you go down the elevator, what'd you say? Hold on. If you go down the elevator at the start to New Londo, you can get a Firekeeper's soul near some ghosts. Uh, yeah, all right. But thanks. Break time, Mr. Bogard. Let me get up and stretch. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks. Turtle Ibuki. Right this way, Mr. Bogard. Um, let me throw on a little tune. What are you guys thinking? Let's see what pops up. Little tune. Neo Main? I don't think that's on my list. It should be. Uh, I was thinking Sunset. It has nice triplets. Where is that shit? Man, do you remember when my mouse was the old mouse and it didn't scroll up and down? When I would scroll down, it would go up sometimes. That shit, I mean, is one of the most annoying fucking things ever. I almost threw that shit across the room so many times, but I'm not the type. I don't damage my own possessions over frustration. Never have. Break time, Shala Shaska. Lightning! And shit. Poof. Man, this is a good ass song. That game was great. Um, fucking chop only. Everyone would play odd job. Four player. <laughs> chop only odd job. Good times. That game was so good. Odd job was magic. You had to play him. All these jerks always played him. He was cheap. Crouching odd job? <laughs> that guy was a bitch, dude. He's so small. Crouching odd job? Impossible to hit. Um Thanks the dude. And Zenku San. <laughs> Turtle Ebuki. Thank and thanks Day Man. Stupid fucking. Get ready for battle. Shit. But this is a clean try. I got everything I need, right? I got my six humanities in my pocket. I should eat them at the very end, just in case. I know it's not common for me to die and lose my humanities, but it's better to be safe than sorry. As unlikely as it may be, I'm gonna play it safe. Man, speaking up, fucking dying. Stupid ass league mechanic killed me twice. I think those things that preserve your experience when you die are like two divines each on um, console. Fuck that. Oh, I'm glad I remembered. Um, okay. You know how people do um, five way carries? And oh, this lever is not pulled. I forgot. Ah, excuse me. If you do an owl, if you do a five-way carry, right? At level 99, they charge fucking shit. They charge a divine for two runs on console. 
and according to the guy who was doing the runs, the, the runs give 3% each. Are you fucking serious? You want me to pay you one divine for 6% experience? That's like six maps in which you will be making more than one divine. It doesn't make sense. Tagging me and saying, damn nerds. Do you think because I'm nice now, I won't ban you for something so asinine? It should be clear that I'm not talking to you. And I could make it clear by never talking to you again. And that would be a result of never seeing you again. Keep in mind, this does not count as being rude. In fact, I think that I'm being nice, personally. Anyway, be careful how you tag me. I could have just banned you. I feel like 2023 Eris would have just no questions asked just because I don't like you. Easy, clean, guilty. But I'm working on it. Anyway, 6%, dude? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Maybe something's wrong. Maybe the guys doing these runs fucking suck at getting a lot of kills. Right? That's possible. Like, maybe I'm supposed to be getting 5% a run. So 10% for a divine. Which still is absurd. Oh, fuck. Oh, exploding skeletons! Did one go overboard? No. Neither went overboard. Oh, I'm fucking dead. I can't... I have to get rid of them, but I'm gonna heal. Okay. It'd be cool if I could, like... One at a time, dude. Now this guy's gonna block the door. Fucking bitch. Yep. And now, look at this. Night at the Roxbury. Okay. That's fine. Fucking bitch assholes. The, the guy is camping the door. Yeah. Fuck you. Ah. Okay. But he's coming back. Now I only have three juices left for the Black Knight. And don't forget to eat your hope. Okay. That's not what I expected, but I'll take it. Look at these fucking... The AI in this game is such a bitch. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Kick this bitch. Nice block. Kick this motherfucker off the cliff! Okay. Patience. Oh! Three, two, one. One, two, three. Let me try that again. It was just a... Uh, bad RNG. This time it'll be different. Fuck. Use Leroy? Who the fuck is Leroy, dude? <laughs> Are you talking about the guy all the way at the bottom of the bottom? Man, people just be tagging, huh? <laughs> Shut up. I got it this time. There's a Leroy in this game, isn't there? He's at the bottom of the catacombs. Right before you fight against uh, that dude. <laughs> with 99, with all ex EXP gear. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. So that is about right. I feel like that math doesn't add up. <laughs> Why would... It doesn't even, like, okay, so by the time they get everyone together and run a five-way, it's like you could have done three maps anyway, and three maps at 99, you're going to get 3%. 
it's about 1% per map. So it just, the math doesn't add up even if you were open to the idea of doing carries. It doesn't add up in terms of time and it doesn't add up in terms of value. I can't even figure it out logically. Unless you can't run six maps without dying. I guess that's possible. <laughs> if you can't run six maps or five maps without dying, then I guess it's worth it. You're not making any sense. Uh, you near, you're already nearly 100 and just need to safely get the last bit since 10% loss would be huge. Yeah. But the... <laughs> Thank you. Even if you, okay, let's say we're going by your logic. At that Thank point, you. wouldn't just running, fucking son of a bitch, wouldn't just running white maps be safer? I mean, it's very safe and take almost the same amount of time. Now, I mean normal maps, not alked. I don't know. It's just something that I'm, I've just been thinking about since I'm trying to get to 100. And the solution for me is to stop doing the league mechanic. <laughs> the league mechanic is just too random. It, what it will do is it's, it will randomly buff the enemies in a different way every single map. And that variable combined with playing a build that stands in front of the enemy the whole time can be tricky. And then altars to add those to the mix spells disaster for you at sacrifice. What are you playing? What build you mean? I'm playing Bone Shatter Juggernaut, but it's pretty buff now. I do need to make a new chest. After getting an All's Uprising and getting haste into the build again, now my um, trauma stacks get way too high. I can get to 60 trauma stacks. I think I could get way higher if everything is timed right. But that shit hurts. Yeah, 60. I have a ton of attack speed from a shitload of different sources. But, I'm, you know, I know how to fix it. I can fix it. <laughs> Thank you. Even currently, the way it works, the way my character is set up, when I get to 50 trauma stacks, that's when I hit focus. And my hat has... 15% uh, reduced physical damage while focused. And my weapon has... Uh, double damage while focused so I wait until I'm at 50 stacks and then I hit focus and then I can live through the 60 stacks it works pretty well but I could make it if I get a better shirt I can make it that so that it's no big deal at all I yeah yeah I am using the that's what I had to switch to this has happened two times in the progression of the character where my attack speed goes so high that I now need to mitigate trauma stacks so it happened again. It happened the first time when I got the Mage Blood. The Mage Blood gave me shitload of attack speed and that fucked things up. So I went uh, complex trauma. And then uh, it happened again when I got haste in the build because of the All's Amulet. All's Uprising or whatever. Oh, fuck. At least it didn't kill me. I can live. The thing is, even with my trauma stacks doing pretty big damage, it's I can live through it, but not in. It's not comfortable if I'm trying to get to level 100. That's the thing. If I already was 100, I'd do it, because it basically comes down to my button timing, which is fine, you know. But it's a really cool build. I'm glad I went with it for a league start. It's too bad they took out the alternate quality version that gets more attack speed, though. Because it feels like I'm reaching the limit of the character in terms of damage, at least. <laughs> My damage is pretty good, though. I'm looking forward to trying Ubers. Is this guy coming back to life? I haven't tried Ubers yet. I want to get to level 100 first. Oh, fuck! Exploding! Oh. Cool.
Uh, yeah, it's pretty... I don't know. I don't know what other significant upgrades I can get. Humanities, I will. I remembered, but thanks. Yeah, I'm trying to get the Black Knight's axe from this guy downstairs. This is, so far, a pretty clean run, if you think about it, considering how much I struggled in the first button check. Okay. Six humanities. Pumpkin swirl frozen coffee? That's a weird thing to tell me about, but cool. Sounds like you're hype about it. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm not really that big on those types of things, but enjoy. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> cool. Man, it's too bad my damage sucks a cocky. It'd be cool if someone mentioned something, but I don't remember what it was. Maybe you could get a sticky white stuff or a electric powder. But to be honest, maybe this guy has lightning resistance. He's got really cool armor. The best thing about Dark Souls 3 is everything in Dark Souls 1. It's crazy. Fucking Miyazaki, dude. That's the only good thing about that game. Oh, no. <gasps> that could have been death. That's a combo if it's, like... Oh, shut up, bitch. Yippee, yappy. That could have been death, my friend. It was the very thing that could have been death a moment ago. <sighs> well, <clears throat> on the bright side, fuck. Uh, thanks, White Snake and Synth, and thanks, Lu Wu and Donnie Rockwood. Hey, D Chong, thanks. Eating Salsa Verde Doritos? <coughs> Those are all right. Not my favorite. Try the Z-Way Hander for more damage. Uh, is that in the graveyard that I just passed through? It is. Maybe I'll try that on the next run if I remember. Did you finish that jumping game? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Thank Ouch. you. This is the run. I could feel it too. Ouch. The last one was really close. I mean, all I had to do was kill him. Everything else was smooth. Just like this one. Come on, man. Oh, that was so close to killing me. <laughs> Thank you. Skeleton. Oh, no! Humanities! Oh! This fucking bitch, dude. I was pushing a button, dude. Fucking shit. Oh! Uh, <sighs> thanks, Lumber Joe and Lu Wu and Lemon Party. And thanks, Nemesis. Fucking humanities suck. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna go for it without the humanities, of course, at this point. Z-Way Hander in the graveyard. Oh, yeah. I guess that's a good opportunity to try. D 
Do you guys remember how much damage I was doing with this? That way we could do a test. He must be around here. Is this it? Winged spear. Oh, he's big! I don't usually come over here. There it is. Z-Way Hander. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh-oh. Oh, great. Get away from me. Yeah! Okay. I got it. Need 16 strength to two-hand it. Um, you should... Are you telling the guy who recommended this fucking stupid sword to me? Or what? That would be cool if you were telling him. Anyway. How's it going? Getting through them is just such a pain. We could go for it, but it's random. Nice. Okay. Stupid floating, exploding bitch down there. Alright. <coughs> Man, that sucks! All my fucking humanity got deleted. Yeah, I like the catacombs too. People have a tendency to like really dislike and dismiss parts of these games that make you uncomfortable, but usually it's just because they're scrubs. I like the fifth world stone and demon souls. I mean, some places really suck though. You know what place sucks? The place in Dark Souls 3 where you walk slowly and there's caca on the ground. That area it just fucking sucks. What was he thinking? That area is not fun. <laughs> yeah, Lost Isolith also is just awful. When it feels copy-pasted and like there's just enemies standing around, randomly placed around, which is exactly how it is. They ran out of time. It's hard to imagine how good this game would have been if... They had all the time they needed for the end of the game. Like, Bed of Chaos? Who knows what that would have been like. Damn it. <laughs> Thank okay. you. That was eerily smooth. Oh! Fuck you. That was pretty good, man. Why couldn't that have happened last time when my humanities were not fucking gone? <laughs> Thank you. It's kind of weird to remaster the game without changing the unfinished parts. I think you'd have to remake it to do something like that. Remastering is similar to, like, digitally bringing up to modern specs. Usually. Um, you'd have to make changes, big changes, wouldn't you? At least to something. They didn't make any big changes to anything. I guess one of the biggest changes is actually they added a bonfire or two, didn't they? That's pretty big. To be fair. Yeah, there's a bonfire. At least one. Well, let's try this again. Man, I'm having a great day, dude. I'm on a hot streak. So far, it's true what they said about 2024. It's pretty great. So far, so good. Oh, fucking 2024, can I eat a dick? Be cool. Oh, no. No! I couldn't see him! Man, Fuck, dude, that was, that was, I should have never even talked to you, dude. I don't know why I don't just focus. Uh, eyes on the fucking road, dude, just focus. Getting distracted. <laughs> hey, Thank thanks, you. put some bikini. Thanks, J-Red. 
Man, fucking stupid bitch. Not you. I'll get him this time. <laughs> Thanks, Sunny Boy. And Lava Strawberry. And Barrett Ashby. And Jabikuta. Bruno. And <laughs> Bush. Wookie. And Sunny Boy. And Nevi Car. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I'm chilling. Leftover pizza. Um, What else you got? That's about it. Leftover pizza and some big ass apples. Nice juicy ones. Man, you get so tempted to just fucking go for it, you know? It's frustrating playing Sub-Zero. These guys are bitches. They take forever. And then you got Sagat over there just fucking around. Okay. Patience. Oh no! Ah! Okay. Stupid skull that time was there. Okay. We're good. Now these two dads need to get aggroed. Hey! Other one too, bitch. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, all right, one. One's cool. Yeah, if only there was some easier way. Wow, we got some big-ass Valentines in the chat room. Hey, uh, take this shit outside, will ya? It's nice that you guys can find love in the on the battlefield, but we don't need to see you two kissing, all right? Anyway, Happy New Year. Big ass fucking like they're by themselves. No one else can read this shit. What are you thinking about? Love is in the air. <laughs> yeah, it is. Keep that shit outside, bitch. Oh, oh, oh! You fucking motherfucker, dude. If this was 2023. Let me tell you, if this was 2023, dude, it's about to be 2023 right now. It's about to be 2023. 2023 is in the air, dude. It is. Fuck. Uh, thanks, Gumballs. Thank you. And Rajai's, or whatever, and Savage. And thanks, Drew Peanuts. Man, fucking thing sucks. Gloria lost plugins. Hey, thanks, Sean the Sniper. Appreciate ya. Ever gonna play? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so pissed. Oh, so pissed. That's all right. Being pissed is funny. At the end of the day, Happy New Year. Being nice sucks. But at least I'm smiling about how pissed it's making me. That part's pretty funny. Thank you. Oh, God, what a stupid fucker. What the hell was that question? Are you ever? What kind of a fucking question starts with are you ever, dude? Ever? Fuck you. What do you mean, are you ever? Are you ever? What a stupid ass question. I don't even know how it ended. There is no question that starts with are you ever. That is a good question, dude. Fuck you. Anyway, happy new year. Happy new year. Bitch. All right, focus up. <sighs> yeah. 
<laughs> Thank you. Okay. Collected. Oh! An extra dad. No, no, no. Fight a new rival. Oh! What the fuck? Okay. Ah, man, this is all the same run. Oh! Fucking son of a bitch, dude. Tiger shot. This is the same run with the lost humanities. Oh, agony. Nice. Yeah, focus. None of these long ass shitty are you ever questions. Stupid bitch. Did I say that out loud? Cool. All right. <sighs> oh, man. If I engage with this guy, I'm going to get killed. And I know it. That's why I'm going to be patient. I might still get killed, actually. But be patient. Watch out for exploding skulls. Hey, get off the fucking... Oh, my God. Thank you. Okay. 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 Play it cool. All right. One more skeleton. Uh, thanks, AC fan. And Casey, whatever. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. Damn, two brand new Twitch Primes. Happy New Year. Thanks. Thanks, Fiv and Affable or some shit. Thanks, bros, for the Twitch Primes. Nice shitty names. Where's the other fucking guy, dude? Wasn't there two guys? Where's the other guy? Hello? What the fuck, dude? I didn't even... Oh, there's... There's three guys in there! What the hell is this? What is this, dude? Are those guys from above? How did this happen? <laughs> Maybe those are the guys that fell or some shit? This is whack. Maybe they're stuck, though. Maybe they're stuck. Where's the... What the hell is going on here? Where the fuck is the guy? Oh man. Whoa, what the hell? Let me try that again. Let me try that again. Uh, yeah, that's what I should have done. Oh, I should have went into the Black Knight's room and then saved and quit, right? That would have worked. Uh, assuming he's still alive, where is that guy? No matter what happens, if he dies, I get his money. 
even if he dies from miles away. So, he can't be dead because I never got his money. He must have... Man, what the fuck? It's fun. I'm having fun doing this as like a... Something that I want to happen. Like a lucky thing. I think that that's pretty cool that this game has stuff like that. Because not every game does. Trying to get something special at the beginning. That's chance based. New Prince of Persia in 10 days? Is it like a cell phone game, dude? Ouch. Oh my god. Ah, excuse me. to tag me on the way out, huh? Oh! This fucking double tiger shot. I got three juices left. Sacre blue. And my feet are gonna hurt when I do this. Oh, God, and there's a little... Son of a bitch! Go, oh, you mother! Thanks, Psychonaut and Boko Mog. Thanks, Scarecrows. Thanks. Fuck. Let me try that again. I got this. It's been a little bit of a struggle, I suppose. I've successfully killed him a grand total of once. <laughs> that's not that good. Uh, that's not that good. I've only killed him once. And I'm farming him right now. That's not that good. But it's not that bad either. If you consider efficiency, one kill is substantially better than none. And... The entire time through the process, not only was I improving and learning and fine-tuning, but I also have been enjoying myself. So the entire picture, when you look at the whole thing, you realize it's a sailboat. Of course, now I have to wait for this guy to reassemble. Oh, and then another fucking guy shows up. Bitch. Oh. Come on, what was that? Okay. All right. Eight juices left. Better than last time. Now watch your feet. And what the fuck? What the fuck? Ooh, damn. It's okay. No problem. I'll do it this time. Guaranteed. I just need to watch my feet. What? But, but I did. Didn't I say watch your feet? What the hell? It's no problem. No problem, Amo. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Scar. <laughs> scar. Whatever. And thanks, Never. Frosted. Fuck. I got it this time. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you. Hey, thanks, Witch Vomit. Appreciate that. Play it cool, you know? Don't be so tense. In fact, why don't you relax? Ah, comfort, you know? Play it cool. I'll do this easily. Watch this. I hear footsteps. Aha! All right, that was not bad. That was not bad. Now this shit, I don't know what the f There's two fucking skulls kissing down there? Oh, I've never seen that. Those two skulls kissed each other. Did you see that? You thought we didn't see that, huh? Those two skulls kissed. I have never seen that. Water? Oh yeah, thanks. Good idea. That's gonna be great when I figure out that whole grandfather clock in my phone strap. That's gonna be cool. Cause I'm gonna tie all kinds of shit to it. Hey, when you guys take a car to a shop, right, and they're gonna do a shitload of work on it, I wonder if it's, like, common to ask for a deposit. Probably, right? It makes sense. I wonder, like, what the industry standard is. Ah. No, yeah, no. I'm sure they need a deposit, dude. They can't just buy all the parts for your car without you paying for them. Or some of them. Your car is the deposit? I doubt that's the Thank case. You. In the case of it being a restoration, if you don't pay, you don't get your car back. Um. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, but what about in the case where, like in my case, the car is worth um, less than the value of the parts that are going to be put into it? The value of the car is worth far less than the job that's being done. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, sometimes they make you pay for material up front. Yeah, sometimes. I don't give a fuck about sometimes. I want an industry standard. You pay for the labor later. That makes logical sense, but... Uh, I'll have to look into it. That's my next big to-do thing that's not, uh, you know, like mandatory life stuff. I usually put other things in front of getting that car taken care of. And there have been so many things, like, since I got it that I just keep putting it off. Like, dude, you know, your health is more important. Or, dude, you got to do these things that you've been procrastinating on. So I just put that in last place because it's not urgent. Besides, the whole theory of that car and restoring it is, I'm thinking, part of my midlife crisis. I mean, I haven't decided on it yet. Look at this fucking guy, dude. This fucking guy. Did you see him stop there? It's like they're, they're designed to piss you off. What the fuck is this shit, dude? Uh, what was it talking about? I don't remember. It doesn't matter.
My RSX is worth five grand. Uh, I didn't read the rest of what you said. Um, but that's a cool car. Oh, I mean, never mind. It's not a not cool car, but I thought you said RX-7 for some reason. <laughs> RSX you. is, uh, what the fuck is RX RSX? Is Acura? My bad, I thought you said RX-7. I've never been that big of a Honda fan in general. I liked old Nissans and Datsuns, but Nissan sucks a cocky too. Currently restoring a square body Chevy and no deposit was asked of me. What's a square body Chevy? You mean a Caprice? Like mine? I don't think that's what you mean. Not a lot of people would call it a square body Chevy. Are you talking about a box Caprice? Yeah, I didn't think so. It's a truck. That's what I was guessing. Nobody calls that a square body. They call it a box. A box and a bubble. A 1996 or five. Look at this guy doing little fucking dance moves. <laughs> this game, dude. Come on, man. Okay, something hit me, but it's okay. Uh, so I'm going for the second kill of the day. Still no luck. It's surprising that I haven't gotten the drop yet. After all these... What the hell, dude? There's so many of these guys! Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? Who are those guys? They never were there before. They weren't. They were not there. What the hell? I don't even know what to think. I think those are the skeletons you knocked. That's what I thought too. Those must be the skeletons that I knocked down, but... Oh, fuck. All right, then save and quit before you go down there to reset everyone, right? And son of a bitch. Damn it. What well, year's your Caprice 88? It's a 88 police package I want to do a LS swap and I want to pretty much replace the whole thing the whole drivetrain yeah it's a cool car I love it I look at it in the garage. You know that emoticon that has hearts in its eyes? I look, I make that face at the car when I look at it. Ugh. While it's parked in the garage. I make that face. <laughs> Thank you. How do you save and quit?
fucking just through the fuck. Oh. oh, how the fuck did you go through that little hole, dude? Oh, I can't believe the chance. What are the chances of that, dude? Thanks, Night Dud and Itchy One and Pluvo. Thanks, Sub Shadow and Tin Man and French Fry Guy and Triluminous. Thanks. Oh, man. Thank you. I'm finding a new way to die every time. Thanks, Diddler. Happy Big Friday. Oh, yeah, water check. Thirsty as fuck. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Try again. Oh, God, dude. I could have gone by now. By now, I could have created a new character and have been trying this with six humanity. Fucking stupid bitch. Fuck. Yeah, five times over. Assuming I was able to kill him those times. It sucks. Thanks this time for sure. I mean, it could be this time. Yeah, thank you. I was gonna... How did I die? Oh! I forgot how I died. I was like... Okay, I was gonna save and quit. How did I die that time? Oh, I can't believe that happened. I forgot. I fell through the stupid hole, dude. That's not gonna happen every time. <laughs> the fuck? Thank you. Fuck these guys. Fuck everyone. <sighs> Go! Okay. Top speed. Forget all those dudes. Are they chasing me? Don't fall in the fucking hole, please. Hey. Oh, there he is. Hmm. What do you think I should do about this? <laughs> Thank you. It's too bad. Yeah, no. it was uh. smoking yesterday. Raiden. Are the skeletons gonna come down? Oh, fucking skeletons! No. <laughs> Thank you. Two of them! <sighs> thanks, clever fella, and Eric, and thanks, Atlas Hammer, and Deleuze, and Squeech, uh, and thanks, Cup, Cup. Hey, thanks. No backseating question mark? Oh, God. I hate questions, don't you? I wish that you just backseated uh, instead of asking that stupid question, but you were probably trying to be... See, really, it's not your fault. It's the fault of people who get angry at backseating. Uh, those people could go fuck themselves because what that causes is it causes people to become annoying like this last guy. If other people had not scolded you for trying to be helpful in the first place, you would have never come in here with that whack-ass question. Fuck you. And Happy New Year. Uh, the problem with that question is that you likely are going to say something that not only has been said, but is a stupid fucking idea. That's the part that, you know, it's two-pronged. You said, no backseating, and then I have to communicate with you and be like, oh yeah, backseating is cool, amigo. And then, now phase two of my relationship with this asshole, he tells me about his fucking brilliant advice that I learned about when I was five years old, and it fucking sucks. And now I've 
dealt with this guy multiple times. We're doing a back and forth over no backseating question mark. You know what I mean? It's really frustrating. But it's cool, no problem. Honest mistake, it's really no one's fault. You know? Bitch. Not you. No, it's that guy's fault. Honestly, if anyone's at fault, it's the streamers that get pissed off at people actually giving good advice. Those guys gave backseating a bad name. What the fuck else is someone supposed to do? They're literally sitting there watching you play a video game. What are they supposed to do? Tag you with some stupid shit like uh, whatever that idiot said earlier. Uh, will you ever or some shit like that. Of course they're supposed to chime in. It's like you're playing video games with your friends. What are you going to tell your friend that's sitting next to you, watching you play? Hey, don't fucking talk or anything, all right? You just sit there and don't tell me anything, all right? You just watch, and you never get a turn, you know? Talk about food. I like food. What kind of food? I wonder what happened to that guy's fucking nacho countdown. Nacho Countdown. Was that today? It's tonight? Damn, people in the chat already. <laughs> it's tonight, dude. Mark your calendars. Stupid. Oh, don't go over the edge. I got this. Man, I do no fucking damage. He get two hits when he gets stunned. Give it to me. Fuck. At least that's two kills. It's a one in five. It's a one in five. If you do the math, we're pretty much halfway there. More or less. And that's if you get unlucky. Thank you. Fuck. Two kills yesterday? I guess that's a good point. I like the way you add things up. Uh, starting Thief and Master Key gives you... What'd you say? Uh, starting as a Thief gives you the Master Key, and you can choose Twin Humanities as a gift. Ah, excuse me. Faster BK kills with the knife and target shield the knife what knife break time gargoyle oh the starting weapon maybe that's a good idea maybe that's a good idea but where do i what do i do with it what do i do with the master key starting weapon and shield are good for reposetis if you trade the Skull Lantern from the Necromancers for a ring that makes you invisible. Uh, interesting. You 
you get high crit and master key as a bonus. Uh, it all sounds like magic. Uh, I don't know if it does. That weapon sucks. I might try it. That might that might be a nice strat. I'm not uh, opposed to refining my techniques. Uh, as long as you don't mind me claiming them as my own and not giving you credit. Uh, thanks, <laughs> Thank F-Dog you. and Landonio. What am I naming this stupid motherfucker? Uh, uh, something uh, quick. Doctor... Bogard? Is that how you spell Terry Bogard? Is that right? X. Uh, very female. Okay, you said thief. Damn, you kind of look like a ninja. Gift. So you already get the master key automatically. So then Twin Humanities, obviously. Average. Uh, commoner. Bun. Black. Start. And then break. <laughs> this time we're implementing a new strategy. I'll let you know if the strategy is good or whether or not it was my idea after we figure out if it works. What does the humanity do? In this game, you, there is a way to raise your item find stat, and it's by having humanities, like, popped. But the limit is 10. So if you have 10 humanities, that gives you a higher probability for the enemies to drop something. But it doesn't give you a better value per drop. So it's not like the rarity of the item goes up. All it does is it makes the drop chance to occur higher. In this game, the way it works is, let's say I'm a black knight, right? And I could possibly drop three things. Every time I die, if I get a, if I drop something, it will be an equal chance of being one of those three things. So what you got to do is get him to drop something. And that's what the humanity does. But having humanity can raise the number of things that they drop to two. I think they can even drop three. I think it's possible to get three items from one guy. And if that's the case, you could get all of their drops all at the same time, in theory. There can be dupes, too. They can drop two, two shields or whatever. <coughs> I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So, uh, hey, thanks, Witch Girl. I'm going to try this Thief strat out when I get back. Man, I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, thanks, Witch Girl. Thanks, Aunt Therese and F Dog. All right, break time, Shalashaska. I'll be back in a few minutes. Five to seven is my guess. If I had to. Lightning! <laughs> and shit. Poof. I'm happy to report that my evaluation of my day came back with stellar marks. Today is pretty sick. Not bad. Nice work. Sometimes I do that during the break, you know? Take a second to think about it. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Prax. Thanks to food to dads. Thanks six months. Soda free. Damn, free soda for six months? That's sweet. Uh, thanks, Mad Liberator and Witch Girl uh, and everyone else. Thanks. That's awesome. Nice, man. Nice luck. Free soda? Okay, grand total of two kills today. My niece said hi. Uh, hey, say hello. I'm going to assume you're like 60 plus. So your niece is, well, let's say 20, what are we talking, 28? Tell her I said what up. What are we talking here? 15? Uh, listen, that doesn't work for me. Not only is your niece 28, 
but you're her aunt and you're also a pretty girl. That's the way it is. End of story. I don't want to hear anything else about it. And if you if I hear another word, you're both going to be naked. <laughs> and holding an extra large pepperoni pizza. All right? I'm the one writing this story. Okay? Extra large. Man, this story is pretty cool. <laughs> Damn it. Cool story. Man, do you remember that girl that delivered my PS5s? That was so weird. I ordered two PS5s. One of them I was going to sell to my friend Kenny. He's fat! Uh, and the girl who delivered them was a pretty girl. So she rang the doorbell. And I opened the door and there was a pretty girl outside holding two PS5s. It's like I had to... It's like a mirage. Am I seeing this correctly? Holding two PS5s? Damn. Cool. Uh, hey, thanks, Psychonaut, for gifting a sub. This is a new strat. I'm listening to the chat room. They had the bright idea of starting as a real ninja. Because this knife will do more damage against the Black Knight. Yeah. Excuse me. Because it gets bonus critical hit damage. And my primary damage against him is backstabs. That's at least the theory that the harebrained uh, chat room came up with. This weapon sucks a cocky. You gotta hit these fucking ghouls like ten times to kill him. I'm not gonna parry him, hell no. I can easily parry the regular sword guys, but the guys with an axe, they have a jump and they have a like a shoulder charge chariot tackle. Both of those things can eat a dick. I'm not gonna parry those jerks. Yeah, the guys with the axe, they get a little too crazy. The guys with the sword, I could I could parry those guys. No problemo. Backstab works just as well. But I wonder what kind of damage I'm gonna do against this fatso. You know, we didn't figure that. Holy shit. Well, I'm gonna do way less on his ass cheeks, right? Unless this weapon has some kind of bleed. Oh, fuck. I do nothing. The goggles, dude. They do nothing. Oh, it does have bleed. Oh, fuck. All right, well, new information has come to light. Okay, so the weapon has bleed. Man, fuck! Okay. No problem, no problem. It's all timing. Ooh, that was close. Okay. I got a little bit lumpy in the middle, but still good. I've used this weapon before, but... Actually, isn't this weapon, like, the best in the game at critical hits? This might be like the best critical hit weapon in the whole game, if I remember correctly. I don't remember. Get some dexterity. Uh, I have some points. I was getting strength before because of the... Hey, how much dexterity do you need to use the Black Knight Axe? I won't go above that. What the fuck? I already have 15. You need 18 dexterity to use that? Wow. Okay, well, I'll... Oh, fuck. Can I get the 18th? Maybe if I eat something? Uh, damn, I don't have anything to eat. No snack. Alright then, well, I'm gonna head over there. All the BK weapons need 18. How much strength do you need to two-hand the axe? Snacks in the graveyard, you're right. But I'll just get them later. I'll use them later. Twenty-four strength, thanks. Butt hash, Jack Miller, Fox Thirty News. Smile. Hey, thanks, Harry, and Hado. Thanks. Come on. 
I gotta pull the lever, don't forget. What's with all the smiling faces? Not that I'm complaining. Better than frowns. Pumpkin pie. Oh, fucking bitch. Wow. Excuse me. Come through. God, dude. Such a stupid fucking situation. Bitch! Ah! Run! Oh no. Not my legs. Oh, I can't believe that worked. That worked. And in theory, I did not knock those guys down so they won't be down here. Right? In theory. I wonder if I can sneak. Hey, is the thief sneakier than other guys? It would make sense. Damn. I think I should probably kill that dude, right? Like, by taking him over here? No? Why not? You seem like the type of guy who does not know shit. I could totally see myself watching this stream and then waiting for me to ask a question and then without knowing anything about what the fuck I'm talking about, just putting a response in the chat room and then leaving the room. No, don't do that. Just making some shit up. Don't do that, bitch. I'll ban you. <laughs> Thank you. I denied like five people today. Their stupid appeals. Uh, get denied. Last guy. Hello. Fucking bitch. What the? Okay. See you on Reddit, big dog. It's so funny. I don't use Reddit. Big dog. <laughs> I'll give it up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Explosive bitch. Holy shit, dude, his body got thrown into me. It's okay. Patience. God, dude. I'm gonna kick his ass. Fuck him. Patience. I don't have all day, bitch. Okay, fuck that guy. Now, I'm going to go over there, I'm going to eat my humanity, and then I'm going to critically hit this Black Knight until he's dead. What the fuck? Did you see that? This motherfucker. The fight hadn't even started yet. I hope no skulls join the fight. I don't remember how much damage I did with the the big 
piece of wood, but it, this doesn't seem like that much. So I don't know if your plan sucks or... Ah! I could still get them back. I could still get them back. Fucking wrong way. I could. 82 with the backstab. Uh, and wake ups with the club. Wow, you wrote it down. How much did I get with this thing? So, you're telling me this whole real ninja strat is not even that good. Is that what you're saying? Like, even if it is a difference, it's like a difference of, like, fucking none. Great. Great. Well, okay, I'm still gonna try. There's humanities over there on the floor. Uh, I'm gonna go pick those up. I'm gonna get the axe, and then we'll be good, good to go. This strap builds bleed, though. Look, man, I had already forgotten whose strat it was, so there was no way I'd be able to ban you. But now that you said that, I know whose strat it was. All right. So let's just keep that shit to ourselves. Builds bleed, though. I need fucking bleed building, motherfucker. In this scenario where I want to get down there and I don't want any skeletons involved, maybe, I don't know, let me get my stuff. I kind of want to like RTSD. I'm going to RTSD. This is the, you getting impatient. Okay, now let's see what this does. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh! What? He was in the air? Oh my god, did you see that? This fucking shit spawned with this guy in mid-air. Ah! Ah! Oh! I was sh I was- uh, I was surprised that I am mid-air! I couldn't concentrate! Thanks, Demodon. What is this? Shit. Did I pick up my souls? I didn't lose those, right? Those humanities, I didn't lose them. I picked them up. So, technically, we're still good. You know? Just a little bit frustrated. But still good. The, the run's alive. Alive and well. My blood's boiling. Fuck. No more messing. No more messing around, dude. I'm gonna go top speed again though. You saw how well I did it last time. I think I know enough. My technique is refined. Oh, refined. All right, maybe I'll just wait for these two dads. Refined technique, dude. What is this guy's fucking problem? All right, forget him. We find technique. Yes. Do it the way you did it last time, right? Save and quit. That was pretty good. It worked, except he was airborne and then threw me off. Get your souls first. What the? 
Oh, what are you doing? What is he doing? Oh, fuck. Ah! Is this guy gonna be fucking a uh, bird when the game loads? What the hell? Ah! Fuck! Oh! All right, all right, that's it. Bitch. <sighs> Sorry for yelling. Uh, let me try that again. Man, what the fuck? Okay, but the good news is that the... the yeah. What's the good news again? The humanities are still there. I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. The good news is I'm still here. How many kills did I get today? Two? And if you count the two from last time, right? Think about it. That means this is going to be my axe. It's all going to be worth it. I'm about to get it right now. It's a one and five. That's four, right? If you do the math, it's 100% guaranteed. Watch that. Thank you. Hey, thanks, Baked Xenon. Yeah, the Balding Star is worse than the club. It does have bleed buildup, but only morons think that shit's good. Just kidding. Oh, what the fuck was that? <sighs> hey, thanks. Yeah, excuse me. Thanks, Anita. Catch my breath. <laughs> thanks, Anita. Appreciate it. My breath. <gasps> oh. God, get the fucking shit. Pause. Do this. Do that. Not ah! Oh! You fucking bitch! You bitch! All right, all right, I didn't save and quit fast enough that time. Okay, I got it this time. It's pretty much guaranteed to be my axe. Watch this. I should push up. I forgot. I had to, like, visually look at it. I didn't memorize. I don't usually save and quit. It's not something that I've done in general. But next time I'll push up. Push up. Hey, what are you looking at? Here's a lock bar. Thanks, I could use one. Thanks, Casino Royale. Appreciate that. That movie sucked, right? I think all the James Bond movies suck. The best James Bond movie is the N64 game. Ouch. Come on. There go my humanities. You know what, dude? I think that this fucking plan... It, this plan... I'm... I'm I'm creating a new character. This fucking idea that you guys had. Oh, all right, nice idea. Cool idea. Your idea was cool. I like the idea. Uh, I'm a ninja, but the idea fucking sucks, dude. All right? The idea sucks. What's the name of this asshole? Forget the Z-Way hander. Forget any of that shit. I'm going to use the wood. All You don't need a better fucking weapon for this. You just need to do it right without taking other morons' advice. Uh, Dolores. How do you spell Dolores? Dolores? Is that how you uh, spell that? 
Dolores, two. Very female. Uh, deprived. That outfit I was wearing, dude, that shit was holding back. Uh, that was holding down my titties. I need that shit to breathe. Uh, where the hell is my bun? Except. Shit! This fucking thing sucks! Hurry up. <laughs> I got it this time. Thank this? Guaranteed, this is the one. Right here. Not only am I gonna easily kill him, but he's gonna give me what I want. Give me what I want. Whew. Thanks, Deus Ex Malto. And thanks, What's Good. Happy New Year, bros. Stupid. Thief is gonna do more damage. The thief's gonna do more damage, amigo. More damage. Get this fucking thing off my screen. I'm already holding it in my hand. I don't need to know that I just picked it up. Okay. I just ate 20 chicken nuggets and two double cheeseburgers. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, I was not even on the fucking stairs. Did you even know that could happen? What the hell was that? It turned. Hey, why you don't have to make fun? It's all right. That's not a problem. It was a mistake, but it's not a big mistake. Small mistake. Dolores three. That's where you're wrong. That's what shows that your eye it is clearly untrained. You're unable to identify talent like Salieri Salieris oh actually he can identify talent he just doesn't have it right that's like his curse <laughs> so sick oh mm, fat bitch huh Oh my god, that almost hit me. Alright, alright. Amadeus, it was alright. I liked it, but it was kind of long. And it was kind of weird in a weird way. Like, I didn't expect for him to behave in such a peculiar way. Even though that's how it was supposed to be in real life. It just, some of the scenes didn't feel believable. Irishman was too long? I didn't feel that way. I liked the Irishman personally. I enjoyed it. I mean, I also really liked the four hour extended version of um, Hateful Eight. I liked Irishman personally. Did you watch Killers yet? What's Killers? The way you said that suggested that I'm supposed to or ha the killer? Oh, Killers of the Flower Moon. I watched half of it. And it was a butt pirated version of it. And I didn't realize that you're supposed to be able to read subtitles for what the Native Americans are saying in that movie. So by the time I realized that I'm supposed to be understanding what these guys are saying to each other, 
it was already an hour and some change into the movie, and it got fucking totally ruined. So I don't know what I'll do about that. Maybe one day I'll go back to it. I fucked up. I fucked up. I didn't know. Like, the whole time I was thinking, like, oh, this could be, like, an artistic decision. And you can kind of tell what they're saying based on, you know, the good acting uh, these actors and actresses, you know? But then towards the middle, I was like, wait a minute. You know, that that scene was a little weird. I need to know what they said. And then I asked the chat. And I'm like, oh, no. Well, that's that. <laughs> Thank you. But it seemed like it was pretty good. Though, I must say that in general, I'm not a big fan of movies where the movie takes place over, like, multiple decades and, like, you witness the fucking shit characters, like, age and shit. I'm not really into that whole thing. Though I guess I can't think of what have you seen Dune? No, I'm waiting to watch them together. I have not seen Dune. But I'll watch it I'll watch it when part two comes out. So these these guys are gonna show up. I only have one Oh man, I forgot to get that humanity. Oh man. It's like a pretty integral step. I learned my lesson from last time. Remember that? Did you see that? Did you see that cancel right there? Hmm? try that again the good news is that now that I came back here I could get these three humanity that I forgot last time Tenet is pretty cool that sounds so familiar I think I've watched it and I think it fucking sucks but I'm not sure what's Tenet Tenet is fucking awful hey remind me of what it is I think I've watched it it's Nolan uh, you gotta give me more than that. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Nolan? Backwards bullets. Time travel backwards. And forwards. Maybe I haven't seen it. Who's in it? Jack Black? Ben Stiller? Sounds like the best movie ever made! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm pretty sure that movie fucking sucks, dude. They're making a new Kung Fu Panda. I haven't seen part one. Um, but that's cool. You sound excited. I never really liked Jack Black all that much. I, well, I should say, it's not that I didn't like him. It's that I never thought he was all that funny. But he's alright. I never disliked him the way I disliked Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller... I don't like that guy. What if I do it here?
play it cool. Fuck Tom Hanks. That guy's cool. I think he is a good actor in good movies. Though I, it's possible he's like a bigot or some shit. What the hell, dude? No. What the fuck? What the... This is... Where's the fucking guy, dude? Is this shit cursed? He's gonna kill me right now. Yep. That is crazy! I was mashing the fucking circle button! I was... That was... I was... That was guaranteed, dude. What the fuck? This is... This is... I'm gonna get him this time. I, I, what the fuck, dude? What the hell? That is... This is like a trick. That makes no sense, dude. The guy wasn't there. Why does it let him fucking act that way before you can? There's no grace period? Fuck! I got him this time. Yeah, he makes the rules. That's the thing, you know, you can't argue with the referee. Rules are rules, and that's the end of that. There's nothing you could do. The more you struggle, the more you're going to lose. If you want to win, you got to work around the rules. No whining. Save and quitting is whack, dude. Just do it the old way. Listen... Uh, I know you're maybe thinking that you have some value here, but I would like to remind you, regardless of my New Year's resolution to be nice, it does not just allow you to open your mouth without receiving a curly turd. Do you understand? Careful with that mouth of yours, alright? This isn't the dinner table. Nobody gives a fuck about what you have to say. And Happy New Year. How was your day, son? Maybe if more of that happened, we wouldn't be in this situation. Um, would you shut the fuck up? I'm talking to this stupid moron. I don't give a fuck about that guy. Why am I even talking to you? You don't even exist. Uh, okay. I got this right here. Where is the guy? Oh, there he is. <laughs> is anyone else thirsty, dude? I'm thirsty. What? Ah! Kojina! How do you delete? How do you fucking delete a character? Load. Delete. Delete all these morons. Not Kojina. We can make Kojina too. <laughs> uh, new game. Man, that sucked! Two. I got a total of two kills today. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's more than zero. It's more than zero. More than zero. Fuck. At least I'm getting good at the asylum part. On the bright side. You know it would be crazy if he drops two axes. That would be so funny. I think it's possible. 
I'm pretty sure it's possible for them to drop multiples of their weapon. I think it can happen. Because the way it works is there's a chance that the enemy will drop two things. And when it drops two things, each one rolls independently. I think it could happen. I guess I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. I've only seen weapon plus armor. Um, I can't recall if I've ever seen it, but it sounds like really familiar as far as the rules go. Big dinner is pretty standard. I got leftover pizza. And I got some apples that are pretty nice and bulbous and juicy. Got some nice apples. After playing the Revenge of the Colon, definitely want to keep my fiber intake nice and healthy. No shards of metal or parasitic sea creatures or anything, you know? Keep things clean. No weird clowns with uh, sharp teeth biting the inside of my asshole. Ouch. Go oh, my foot! Dude, this guy's aim is incredible. Oh, fuck it. Drink two. You won't need him. Oh no. What was that? Did you? What was that? What? Oh! How did that happen? That was like a not... I was like... A, it wasn't a full thing. It wasn't like a full-blown dropping attack. Uh, thanks, colon, eyeball. I like the fingers, too. Remember the fingers that were in the colon? That shit was fucked up. <laughs> thanks, Bear Chills and Dims. Thanks for the new Twitch Prime. Thanks, Zygar, Deus Ex Malto, and Renkaru. Appreciate you guys. Hey, take it easy, red name. Have a good one. I wonder what happened with the Nacho Countdown. Isn't that tonight? Ah, excuse me. Okay. Don't forget to sit. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Homu Jam. Thanks for the brand new sub. Some noobs around here. Thanks. I love nachos. Especially if they have really nice, like, carne asada or some kind of good marinated chicken or something on it. Plus all the other fixins, You know. Whatever you like. I don't really love beans in my nachos. But a side of beans is fine. I like cheese. The <laughs> ultimate you. nachos were the ones that that pretty girl at the taqueria used to make for me. And they had good-ass... Carne asada, shredded cheddar, and liquid uh, cheddar. Uh, you know, like nacho cheese and shredded cheese. And then they had really good rojo and verga sauce. So both on top of that. Hey, what and are you then, oh my god. And then, uh, what else? Oh, sorry cream. Gotta have sorry cream and guacamoles. That's what I'll have. Um, I don't like pico de gallo, but if it's there, it's okay. I don't love it, but if it's there, it's okay. I don't need it. And it's mostly because of the cilantro. I'm typically not that big of a cilantro type of a girl. Man, are you kidding me? These fucking bitches. Cilantro! Come on, man. No, no, no. 
I haven't eaten any humanities yet, so we're in the green. Oh, the souls, though. I forgot the step of using the souls to get 13 fucking shit. Strength. I'm over here talking about nachos, dude. Well, I mean, nachos are good. You know? It makes sense that you would talk about them. Especially if you're hungry. So... I don't know what you're raising your voice about. I'll talk about nachos again. That shit was fucking good. I love it when you can order nachos and then they give you the plate and then there's a nacho, what do you call it? A salsa bar. So you can take your nachos over to the salsa bar and just dump a bunch of other shit on top. Squeeze some limes, put those carrots on there, maybe some pepino with salt and pepper and like a sh you know just dump it all over the place that's what i'm talking about nachos versus chilaquiles i don't think that's a fair comparison but both are delicious I can't believe this jerk off went in that direction. Oh. Nachos versus chili cheese fries. You mean nachos versus super fries? That's a fair um, competition. To me, nachos are way better than super fries. But personally, I like the crunch of tortilla chips way more than I like, like a bunch of fucking french fries that are going to be soggy in five seconds. Personally. That shit is going to be so soggy before you even get near it. When I used to go to Pink's, I used to order my onion rings with the chili and cheese on the side. That was the strat. Highly dippable onion ring technique. Where are my souls? Are they in here? Oh, I got them already. I didn't take the humanity! I didn't eat the humanity. Fucking thing sucks. Oh! Whoa, it healed me! It healed me through it! No, oh, shh. Okay, well. Uh, thanks, Eric. And thanks, Indie Games and Homu Jam. I've gotten two kills so far. Break time, Mungo. Thank you. Thanks, Bastinelli. Yeah, those nachos were great. With the salsa bar. One more try, dude. Respect the fact that you haven't given up yet. That just means that I wrote this script perfectly. The plan all along was never to actually get the axe. Even if I get the axe, what am I going to do with that worthless shit? It's about the journey, amigo. You must not stream. But I got this. This time. Fat guy recommendations for New Orleans. Are you going to the World Tour Finals? I was almost tempted to go just for fun, at least. I don't know anything about it. I've never been there, which is kind of surprising. I've never been to New Orleans. I'd like to go for the food mostly. Yeah, the food's great. Of course, I would imagine. Cajun food is so good. Even like really simple dishes like red beans and rice, things like that, or like dirty rice or things like that. They're just like so simple, but 
really good. Man, I don't know what the fuck to do about this shit. He's gonna climb the ladder. I'll go down here. I'm halfway up the ladder. Go get this shit. Where are you going? Oh god. I fucked that up. Need to find the opportunity. Okay, now when I load the game, he's gonna be in midair, and before I can even move, he's gonna fucking cut me in half, and that's when I fucking yell. Fuck! Thanks, Ninja. The music. <laughs> one more try, one more try. One more try. Uh, try the resetting strat on the ledge past the hole in the wall. In the guy's room? In the Black Knight's room? Okay. I'll try. Bitch. Come on, man. The one that overlooks the wheel skeleton room. Yeah, yeah, I know. You should put on armor. It reduces the damage you take. Hey, what's up, amigo? Just got here, red name, cocksucker. Uh, I don't have any armor to put on, and going and getting armor to put on is not worth the time. Anyway, uh, thanks for the advice, though. I do appreciate it. I may have called you something or during that but i'm working on it i'm working on being nicer so it might have slipped in the middle of that hopefully uh, it wasn't anything too offensive that was a six minute follower oh man <laughs> Thank you. hey how's it going welcome to the stream why are you looking up people's following minutes by the way you know people in here are fucking perverts you know you're a pervert this has nothing to do with you it's between me and that new guy what are you even looking up that guy's skirt for? Yeah, nosy ass bitches. Got nothing else to do but be a nosy fucking nose having bitch. Uh, anyway. What was your stupid plan? Save and quit on the ledge. Oh, but I want these. Okay. Kojina! Oh, what the hell? I was stuck! Dude, I was stuck! There was... That was... That was bullshit, dude. There was no room. I was stuck. Let me try that again. I got my souls back, though, right? Humanity is not lost. Fucking son of a bitch. Uh, thanks, Forever Frog. Oh, I know. That was a typo. <laughs> nice typo. Sometimes the typos really stick. <laughs> it's a pretty funny typo. Man, dude. He's the Black Knight. I'm gonna kill him. They both did Psycho Crushers. Synchronized swimming. 
<laughs> Thank you. Oh, come on. You gotta tag me. <laughs> Thank you. Do you guys ever just do yoga without watching instructions? You just remember the moves and do them? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Just remember the moves. Where did he go? What the f Oh, the st no, the ledge. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank Mash you. on circle. Mash on circle. Oh, what a fucking scrub. Nice whiff, bitch. He whiffed. All right, it's on. Oh, it's off. What the hell? Oh, I'm dead. I should have done no! I should have done it on the cliff. Oh, he whiffed again. What a dumbass. Will the skeletons show up? Ah, oh, they keep showing up. What the fuck do I do? Why do they keep showing up now? Come on. It would be sweet if they would go over the cliff. Damn it, you gotta punish me every time, dude? Fuck. Man. Well, I mean, the run's still alive, I guess. How? Okay, so then you can't skip those two skeletons. There's nothing you could do about those two skeletons. You have to just fucking do it. One at a time. Those skeletons, even if you save and quit, they're always going to get involved. And I didn't lose my humanities. I got this. Focus. Victory dinner. I could smell it. Kill Sagat. I don't know which Sagat runs that joint, dude. Kill the Sagat of that area. I don't know which one runs that shit, and I don't want to know. I think the best strat is to manipulate those titties. Oh, fucking son of a bitch. Okay, got lucky there. Maybe it's better that these guys don't fall off the cliff. Right? They just stay up here. And then I run past them. Blah. Excuse me, I think one of them might have fallen down right there. Oh, great. Oh, great, you fucking son of a bitch! Oh! Christmas miracle. That was a Christmas miracle. I like those. Man, that shit made my eyes open wide. I thought I was dead. Could have been death. Uh... Man. Alright then. I'm gonna have to deal with these guys. Slow ass bitches. There you go. Pick up the pace. <laughs> Thank you. 
over here. What? Sidestep invulnerability? Okay. One more dad to go. And then I have to be very precise. Don't fuck up against the Black Knight. He's killed me way too many times. <laughs> this Thank is you. the one. Where did the... Oh, no. You see? These variables, dude. Where is the guy? Where is the other fucking guy, dude? You know? This plan is so well laid. It's smooth. Where is the other guy? Where is the other guy? There is no other guy. The floor breaks. You drop down. Where are my souls? Where are my souls? There they are. Okay. So the fight is on right now. I got my souls. <sighs> All I have to do is beat this guy's ass without aggroing any skeletons. And we're in business. Okay. Then he's going to give me the axe. Oh god, that was a mistake. Okay. Whew. The Michael Jordan of colonoscopy? That's me. You'll do more damage with the knife. Everyone knows that. More damage, huh? More damage with the knife, huh? Oh, fuck. No mistakes. Ah! Oh, my God. No mistakes. No mistakes. <laughs> Thank you. Very cool. Oh, where's my other two humanity? Oh, fuck. Well, at least that's three kills on the bright side. I'm kind of, I kind of, look, not that you didn't already know this. But there ain't shit to play, and I'm having fun. I kind of want to play this again. Uh, one per hour, dude? Jesus. Oh, there were so many agonizing deaths today. Can I get a New Year's luck buff, amigo? ATP Quan. Yeah, sure. Hey, Happy New Year and good luck, Lean Boys and Cadillac Kelly and Ogama. Uh, thanks, Mexican, and Baba, and Koi Koi, and DJ. Thanks. Uh, thanks. E Blaze. Mierda. Thanks, Let It Cook, and Sea Tech Monstro. So, hey, thanks. Happy New Year. Thanks, Gormless, and Brad Pitt fan, and everyone. Oh, this is a song? I'm not really interested in... What is this, dude? Is this a, from a video game? Baldur's Sky Complete Soundtrack? That song sucks. Thanks very much. Let it cook. More than half a second? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. But I'm going to break your leg. Uh, thanks, Poison Mushroom. Thanks, Happy New Year. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. 
Oh yeah, trying to get this axe? Why not, man? There ain't shit else to play. You say that it is about my wife? I'm sorry, sir. Um, but I'm pretty hungry. Might as well eat some dinner. I could squeeze in another try, though. But man, one more try could take an hour. If you think about it, <laughs> considering each try takes an hour. One more. One more. One more. Just one more try. Real quick. It's going to be quick. Kojins. Thank you. Three. Too bad, man. I just stopped smoking. Yes, Deprived. Yo, can I get a lick buff? A lick buff? Hey, good luck. Oops. Thanks, uh, Rufus McGoofus and Dr. Killinger. Thanks, guys. Happy Big Friday. <laughs> Quick lick buff. Thank you. Thanks, Raising Phoenix. Fuck. This one's the one. You need to combine everything you've learned into one perfect run. I wonder if I go like perfectly top speed, how long it's going to take to get to the Black Knight. Probably like five minutes right maybe ten minutes if I don't fuck up maybe I should do a a thing that shows my spliffs ouch Live spliff? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what up uh, what other kind of upgrades I could make. Oh, how does that even happen to my uh juggernaut now? Other than I could use a better shirt. I'm working on it. Other than a better shirt for defense. I wonder what kind of like high-end items exist that will help. Yeah, I have a double fuck. I have a double impale watcher's eye. I mean, you know, a plus two impale. Not a double impale. I have a plus two impale watcher's eye. And a mage blood. And I got an all's amulet so I could squeeze in haste. So my attack speed is like almost six without any buff. Six per second. Forbidden Flame. I have... I don't have an extra Jewel Socket available, but I don't know what Forbidden Flame and Flesh combination would be good. But yeah, maybe that is a big upgrade. I was thinking the best upgrade for the Jewel Socket would be that which was taken with Impale. But... I don't know. I don't really use POB in that way, so I'm just gonna have to wing it. Every time POE comes up, it feels like y'all are speaking Chinese to me. Well, that's where you're wrong. No one's fucking speaking to you. All right, so shut the fuck up, bitch. Uh, anyway, happy new New Year. Toy toy toy, how how how, bye bye bye. Shut the fuck up. Uh, anyway, I hope you're doing well. Dude, uh, one kill an hour? Give me a break. Mm -hmm. That still counts as being nice. Uh, thanks, Moreau. That still counts. Don't 
don't you think? Hey, guy, I just yelled at. Do you feel like I was rude to you right now? <laughs> Someone banned that guy before he can respond. Oh, the humanity! Oh! Bitch. That guy almost caused me to... F me yelling at that guy almost caused me to fall off my horse and break a perfectly good bottle of Kentucky bourbon. All right? That son of a bitch. Look at that horse. What the hell is this? You can't touch the bonfire because this fucking asshole's here. Oh my god. Try that again. Level up. Strength. This is the step I missed last time. Thanks, Rice Rocket. Where did those two humanities in my pocket come from? Did I eat those accidentally? I must have. Uh-oh, cat fight? What did I miss? Two dads are fighting in the chat? Fuck. Hey, don't distract me. What are you guys upset about, bros? You gonna duke it out? Settle this like men? What are they pissed about? Fuck. It's a food fight? Oh my god, three dads? Ah. Oh, don't do it! No! Oh! Ah! Alright, I'll get it this time. Nice try. Thanks to Dick Shape Dads. Thanks. The two guys in the chat. Man, what a bitch, dude. I figured I'd probably get maybe at least two kills an hour. But. I mean, what? Uh, thanks, uh, Vegas chicks are hot. All right. Uh, I just lost two humanity there. But that's okay, I only need four. Yeah, I wouldn't agree with that. Vegas chicks are... Mm, I mean, they aren't ugly or anything, but... A lot of the time, they are only being hot because of circumstances that are not very sexy. So, it's not that, uh, you know. Like seeing someone's grandma being a cocktail waitress and wearing like 
tights with her ass out, you know? That's not that that great. Even if she's attractive. Just like, you know, sucks that she has to go around wearing that outfit as a grandma, that's all. G-MILFs. Where are my souls, dude? What the fuck? Where are my souls? Did I lose them? When my local hears your cut. Hey, thanks. Local what? Dick sucking competition. Thanks to dads. One is typing. Oh my god! The whole fucking town just showed up. Oh! Hey, I'm gonna go eat dinner, man. I'm hungry. That was like an hour ago when I said one more try. I'm hungry. But the good news is I'll do this shit again. I'll do this shit again until I get what I want. Uh, thanks, Jans, the g -ma, and everyone else. I'm fucking, I'm withering away over here. I'm hungry. I need to eat. My performance is waning. Even though I've... Ah, excuse me. Um, unless I think of something better, you know, like some weird ESL shitty game or whatever, I kind of want to skip the Prince of Persia. No offense, but that game probably sucks. But, uh, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Um, thanks, of course. For keeping me company and, of course, all the generosity. I did my best to be nice and I think overall I did a pretty good job. But there were a couple questionable interactions that one could argue that were mildly rude. Slightly on the rude side. But overall, considering the frustration, I think I did a pretty decent job, if I may say so myself. Uh, anyway, I'll do better. I'll keep improving. Thanks again for tuning in. You guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the sewer. Take it easy, amigos. See ya. Lightning! <laughs> and shit. Thank you. Poof. Good break. Uh, thanks, Real Fake Doors. And thanks, Ragey. Smoke weed every day. Um... This guy, Matt... Matator or whatever this shitty ass name is, Matator, uh, sent a link for a song. Yeah, this is not from a video game, you moron. Available on Spotify? Is this your shitty ass fucking music, dude? Nice shitty music. I'm not listening to it. Anyway, thanks. Uh, thanks, Zazzy Bar. Um. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm not interested in listening to some fucking weak-ass cover of your favorite anime song. But thanks. Appreciate you, smile, smile. Thank you. Thanks, Appreciator, and Blackout, and Dylon, and thanks, Wins Marvel. Thanks. Green Day Strikes Again. I wish. It's not even Green Day, dude. It's just some random asshole with a guitar. How do you fucking make this shit full screen? <laughs> hey. You. Hey, what's the code? <laughs> Thank you. How do you make this full screen? Maybe you could do it in the main menu. You can't see, huh? Oh, that's Thank odd. You. System. Options. No. PC settings. Full screen. Okay. Nice. Fixed. Weird. Okay. I'm in business. Alt enter didn't work. It made the fun sound. Uh, Kojina. <laughs> Thank you. Very female. Uh, your strat sucked, by the way. Hmm, Twin Humanity, Average, <laughs> Commoner, you. Bun, Black, Accept. 
Hey, thanks, Highwind and Loomis and Nikon and Fade. Thanks, bros. It's nice to be trying this again. I didn't succeed. That means I have work to do. This game is perfect. It's a perfect game. The perfect joke. What are you guys playing? The perfect joke? Lost Eyes with? I mean, you gotta keep in mind imperfections are part of what makes something perfect. If Lost Isolith was good, then something would be wrong with the rest. It's good the way it is. Give me that. Let me go give this guy a little beat down. Ah, stupid motherfucker. All right, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I just need to remember all my strats that I invented. I think I got it this time. I've been practicing this shit for more than a day. So now I'm ready for the real run. These were all just practice runs. Give me my fucking ass, this flask. Give me that shit. Back to work. <sighs> Man, I'm surprised at the way that car chase went. That guy did kind of look a little bit like me. You know, people are always trying to tell me, oh, this looks like you. Is that you, Eris? Stupid fucking comments. But sometimes it's true. Sometimes they kind of do look a little bit like me. Showtime. Big damage. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Hey, thanks. Oh, your father is a bitch. Good riddance. Thanks, Indigo Montoya. Don't know who that is. Thanks, uh, the high wind. And Loomis. Ribozo. That's from The Princess Bride. I've never seen that movie. I've heard that it's good, though. Uh, you think I'd like it? Get 16 strength to use the Z-Way Hander. You don't have access to 16 strength right now. Like, um, what is the Z-Way Hander going to do? What is, the, what is the purpose of this plan? To do more damage against the Black Knight? Because... I mean, you don't really need to do more damage against the Black Knight if you don't fucking die to him, which I'm not going to. You'll need the strength anyway when the axe drops. Yeah, but are you ignoring the idea that if I go through all the effort to get the strength and then I go kill the Black Knight and it doesn't drop, then I went through that effort for nothing. And if I have to do that over and over again until it drops, then you're adding several minutes to each try. You're better off going for more tries than you are going for, uh, you're gonna need the strength anyway. You don't six link the armor before you double corrupt it, you noob. What if it fucking bricks, pendejo? Someone said they fractured a rib earlier and I thought they were gonna talk about POE. Holy moly. Uh, so, I got 13 strength.
I'm not gonna go for the Z-Way Hander. I'm just gonna go for the fucking piece of wood that I was born to use. It'll be no problem if I use all the techniques that I've learned. <laughs> I just need to use all of my techniques. And I think the most important thing of all is patience. You think, oh, whatever, I'm just going to run past these fucking skeletons, right? But if you think that every time, each run is going to be... Would you shut the fuck up, you stupid bitch? Not you. Oh. You got to pull the lever. Oh, whoa. These guys fucking crowd the door. Oh! Crowd the door. I, oh! Ah! Fucking double swing. Oh! All right. Well, look. Same, same as last time. The the switch is pulled, so that's progress. As long as you pull the switch, you're good. Next progress point. What's the next progress point? Nothing, right? Yeah, it's like a checkpoint, in a way. I mean, one potential progress point would be killing Sagat. Because you only have to kill him once and he's dead forever. And he, he might be a girl. Um, but I'm not going to even go for Sagat. Because Sagat is a garlic non-factor, assuming I get past the first section. In this game. Uh, thanks Santa's little yelper and spicy pooper and penguin obzenic and everyone. Happy Big Friday. I heard it's funny Friday but so far no evidence that that is the case. But you never know. What a weird car chase today. It got so close to being disastrous but ended up being nothing. Just evil heiress at it again. Ooh. Patience, my good man. That's the key. So maybe it's best for me to not, like, send this guy overboard. Hey, thanks. Just one second. Let me do this jump. I think the more skeletons I send downstairs the worse it is for the Black Knight fight. Right? We're good. We're good? <sighs> I don't want to look away too early. Uh, holy moly, thanks. Thanks, Mr. Peeper420. Are you the guy who asked for a luck buff earlier? Was that you? Well, anyway, thanks. You got what you wanted? That's pretty cool. I'm assuming you got what you wanted. Thanks. Um, remember earlier? That was the guy I said he asked me for a luck buff. And you guys were like, oh, you were too late. And I was like, that's not how it works. I don't have to cast a spell. It's automatic. 24 hours. Cool. Hey, thanks again. Can you play as a goblin in this game? Watch me be nice. Um, no, no you can't. Anyway, Happy New Year. You see that? That execution? That was pretty good. Very nice. Man. Every time I'm nice, I can't help but think what would have happened to that guy in 2023, dude. He would have been deaf. Yeah. Ah. Harrison Ford, Air Force One. Okay.
So the save and quit plan was the worst plan, right? Do not save and quit because every time you respawn, he's going to be in midair. And before you can even... Why are you getting on the ladder, you dumb fuck? Before you can even move, he's going to cut you in half. So no saving and quitting. But I do want to get rid of these two little bitches. So they don't interfere in the fight. This is the first run of the day. Look at this fucking guy. This is what I mean. You have to be patient. It's too bad, man. I just patience. Yesterday. Patience. Lost 35 pounds last year. Thanks for the tip smile. Yeah, I need to uh, also do that this year. Anyway, congrats. That's uh, definitely part of my to-do list this year. Are you seriously going to block? Get out of here. Ah! Jesus. Uh, uh, what was he saying? Hey, thanks, Pizzo. Thanks, good shit. Congrats. Kill so the Sagat for the last two. He's right down the hallway from them. Really? Okay. So down here, there's a Sagat guy down here. That could be a new uh, garlic non-factor in here. Are you sending me to my doom? Hey, write this guy's name down. Oh! Well, uh, there's at least one more skeleton here. There's archers. Hmm. I wonder what to do. I could send them off the cliff like the other guy. It'll take time. There's two archers down there with him. Keep in mind, it's not easy for me to kill... Oh, fuck. Afghani sniping squad? What should I do? Maybe I don't even need to do that, dude. Maybe I should just... Your idea suck. Oh, fuck. Man. I, f I shouldn't have... Oh, damn it! I should have never aggroed these stupid fucking skeletons. All I had to do was jump down there and fight the Black Knight. And now look. Uh, how do I want to deal with this? These two are gonna... I guess I gotta take them to the cliff. There's no other option. What the fuck is this, dude? Would you fucking wake up, bitch? Patience, my good man. It'll all be worth it when you have your axe. Both of them. The way their eyes glow in the dark is so tight. This game's cool. Okay. Patience. Oh, fuck. Yes! Both of them are gone! Damn, he's good. Did you see that? That was perfect. Okay. Now it's just me and the Black Knight. Should be no interference. It's gonna be a fair fight. He could still kill me. Oh, what? Whoa! How many fucking guys are there? Are you ki Are these the same guys? What is this? They're multiplying? You chop the head and then two comes out? What the fuck is this? What happened? This sucks! Holy shit. Give me the fucking axe, you little bitch. Ah. Oh, I can hear skeletons fucking looming. I can hear skeletons rolling around. Come on. Focus.
You forgot the humanity! Oh! Shit. That's two. What are you doing? Oh! Look at this motherfucker. You can't do that? Can I do that? No, wrong button. Oh, fuck. Okay. I gotta work on my menuing. You can't do this while the animation is going on? Okay, I think I... Oh, no! Why the fuck did that guy show up, dude? over it's fucking over shit <laughs> shit Thank you. no no that was going perfectly i had I, uh, what should i do start over that wasn't like the absolute worst case scenario but it was up there my souls are still upstairs next to the black knight I think I can go, I think the what I can do now is I can go to the Black Knight, hope that my souls are there, pick them up, and also use the last four that I have, and then go for the kill. It's not over. Man, that was bullshit. Why the fuck did that guy all of a sudden show up? And why are there so many skeletons this time? I mean, last time there were two. I counted like seven. This time. How do you get go from two skeletons to seven skeletons? It's possible that all of the skeletons that I kicked off came back. You think that's where they go? I think that might be where they go. So don't kick any of them off. Man, that makes the whole run so much harder. Shit. Yeah, I think that's why. I have this feeling that that's what's going on here. Since these skeletons can't die, it seems like, um... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah! I still have four humanities. Just run past. It's easy. Hey, watch me be nice. That's the best I could do. <laughs> Just exhale. That's all I could do. Um, man, 2024 is starting to fucking suck. Can't yell at people for acting like cock sucking bitches. Thank you. What's the point then? Okay, I'm gonna try again. This time I got it. Run past them. I'm five days in. No killing skeletons. They can stay on my plane. But... <clears throat> Alright. Okay. Okay, wonderful. That's perfect so far. Oh my god, you fucking stupid skeleton son of a bitch. That last guy, uh, if I were you... <sighs> Happy New Year. Uh, thanks, Kinko and Raf and Yarts and everyone. Thanks. Okay, try it again. Pretzels are making me thirsty. I don't even really like pretzels that much. In fact, they're probably the worst. They're actually... Definitely the worst part of Chex Mix or Munchies or whatever the fuck it is. Pretzels suck. I think pretzels suck. Soft pretzels, though? Yeah, but 
soft pretzel without nacho cheese or any kind of mustard or any dip, worthless. You need a dip. No dip, no buy. Dip is paramount? Yeah, well, dude, then in that, if dip is paramount, don't you think that the thing that's getting dipped in it gets kind of minus bonus points? If you need dip, then it doesn't get bonus points, that's for sure. Come on, you fucking sons of bitches. All right, let me try one more time. I think you do have to run past them. I mean, <clears throat> you don't have to, obviously, because there have been... I've gotten a couple kills on the Black Knight while kicking those dudes off. This character is cursed. Make a new Kojina. Someone perma-ban this loser. Happy New Year. Don't perma... Java style, I'm not fucking... You can never perma-ban anyone, all right? Listen to Raiden. Or Raiden, or whatever. Unban that fucking guy and ban yourself, you dumbass. You are so on thin ice. Every day, forever. Okay? Uh, hey, thanks, creepy dentist. And mini pretzel dogs. I don't even like pretzel buns. Or pretzel crust or any of that shit. It's not that good. Pretzels are like bootlegged bagels. To me. Okay. Using all my shit. I'm fucked. Oh, God. Fuck! Ugh! This plan sucks! This plan sucks! There's always gonna be skeletons in here! Fucking try again. I should definitely perma-ban that moron who said this character is cursed. Hey, you deserve death. Uh, but you're lucky it's 2024. New character. Okay, try again. Fuck. Uh, thanks, thanks, creepy dentist. Pretzel buns suck, dude. I don't know, whatever. Everyone likes their own shit, but I think pretzels suck and pretzel buns suck. Too dense and just needs to be dipped. I don't even really like stuffed crust pizza. I always felt like that was some fucking, like, you know, made up kid shit. Like, you know that peanut butter that has jelly in it? <laughs> in the jar? I always felt like it was shit like that. Like, what the hell? Gimmick, exactly, to impress kids. I think stuffed crust sucks. I prefer toppings all the way to the edge and minimal crust. 
thin, crispy, minimal crust, and toppings all the way to the edge. That's how I like my pizza. What about toppings rolled into the crust? That's just you being indecisive. You want a calzone or you want a pizza, dude? If you're gonna go out of your way to be creative, it's gotta add something to the original. It doesn't need to just be like a stupid, weird extra step. It's gotta add something special. Ah, excuse me. Yeah, I like pizza. Obviously. It's my favorite. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. I don't know how, though. I mean, I've done it before, but it just seems like every time there is a new problem. Every run has this new fucking issue. Multiple extra skeletons that weren't part of the deal Blackheart. I don't know what the fuck is the explanation for this shit, but fuck. But fuck. Would you fucking do this shit correctly? Okay. Stupid fat bitch. Not you. Look, dude, I understand that I'm supposed to be nice, so I'm going to go ahead and remove you permanently. You have a previous ban, so that means I've dealt with you in the past, and this means I'm never going to deal with you again. This has nothing to do with not being nice. It has everything to do with you shutting the fuck up. Why the hell does this not work? Hello? Controller? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that guy was a dumb fuck opening his mouth when he's been banned once before. If you've been banned once before and you are now unbanned, that means you basically, this is a miracle. And if you take it for granted, well, miracles are not just going to happen all the time. You understand? Uh... Dude thinks there's a difference. Hey, you should also shut the fuck up. Just letting you know. I don't know you, but I noticed that you're talking a lot. Uh, hey, anyone know why my controller is not working? What the fuck? I don't understand what the problemo is. Alt, tab. <laughs> Thank you. Uh-oh. No? Let's try that. Okay, problem solved. No problem, we're good, we're, good. we're in business. Hmm. Anyway, was I yelling at someone? I can't quite remember. Doesn't sound like me. Thanks, Keaton, Thank and Proceeder. Uh-oh, that's not you. Oh man, it... Too bad you can't have a mouse and have this game work at the same time. Uh, thanks, Corvo and Keaton and Hector Putrid and Augustus and Butter Chicken Ramen. Wild. Uh, thanks, Imagine Being Named Danis and Crash Bundicoot. Sussy and Creepy Dentist. Thanks, bros. Hopefully this works. Um, borderless Window didn't work. I mean, it, it worked, but it still did the same thing. Borderless window still made it so that my mouse was not usable when the game is, like, the focus. But I'm not using, like, the app. Isn't there, like, an app that's, like, Windows Borderless app or whatever? Borderless window gaming or some shit like that? The add-on extension? I didn't use that. I just did it in-game. Thank you. Thanks, Labor Nash. This is a new run, so I have to uh, go pull the lever first. Yeah, borderless gaming, that's it. 
You can get it on Steam. Um, are you saying I should? I don't really feel like it right this second, but maybe I'll look into it. I got the humanity over there, didn't I? Yeah. I did every step, I'm pretty sure. The only step left is pull the lever, and then I have to eat the humanity before the Black Knight. But I really don't have a good plan on how to fight him without interference. I don't have a good plan for that. You know what, dude? I just thought of it. Okay, so you know how every time I kick everyone down and there's a million fucking guys down there? I think what I'm supposed to do is not kick anyone down except for the last two guys that are right next to the Black Knight. Those are the two that I'm supposed to kick. Everyone else up here, they gotta stay up here because if I kick them down, then they're, they don't die. So they're just gonna wake up down there and it's gonna be a fucking sausage fest. So, no kicking these guys down. Oh. And then dodge this guy easily. Like this. And then dodge this guy. And then drop down. Oh! <sighs> okay, well, the good news is I'm alive, but the bad news is that one of the skeletons fell, and I think because of that, he may get involved, but still, the plan is reasonably still well laid. Oh, God, why did you do that? I never want to do that. Okay, both of them are aggroed. The plan is still well laid. Okay, these guys are hype. Getting hype. One at a time, Pendejo. Oh no, don't do that. Oh. Shit. He gets stuck on the bong sometimes. Oh! What? Is this another fucking guy? No! Oh shit. Oh no! Combo! Holy shit. Invulnerability phase. Oh. One down. Where's the other one? Oh. Okay. Well, that leaves me with three juices, and I have to pray that the fight with the Black Knight is a fair fight, mono e mono. We'll see how it goes. Don't... I gotta be sneaky right here. If I walk around or make too much noise... Oh, yeah. Humanities. Thanks for the reminder. Cut that bitch off. Thanks for the years of laughs. You're all right. Oh, fuck, the guy woke up. Is he stuck, though? Oh, he's not. Holy shit, he's fucking cutting me in half. What do I do? How many dads do we have down there? We got one dad. We got one dad. Clean his ass at the cliff? Thanks, Dark Spaghetti. Yeah, my pleasure, man. Yeah. Thanks for liking my stream. Excuse me. This guy's wasting all of my Estus. Did you fucking come over here, you bitch? Not that fast! My god. 
One Estus left for the Black Knight. Synchronized swimming. This guy's such a bitch. What are you doing, man? Oh my god, another Psycho Crusher? Okay, faking it. Okay, I guess. Now I gotta beat the Black Knight. Oh! It's on. Oh! But what the fuck, dude? This is bullshit. There's another fucking skeleton right there. What the hell? What should I do? Oh, no. That leaves me with no Estes. So stupid, dude. This scenario, I've got... Wait a minute. What if I just go down here now? Maybe he'll continue to be stuck? Unlikely. Oh, fuck! so many skeletons all of a sudden okay i think there's only one solution i really hate to say it but i gotta go kill all of the fucking okay here's what i'm gonna do at least kill the sagat on the top floor right yeah i have to kill all the fucking sagats i don't know what else to do there's it's not even the tiger shots that are killing me it's the fucking uh, them keeping these skeletons alive. I thought that if one of the skeletons falls from the top floor all the way to the bottom, Sagat's range is not going to reach them and they'll die, but I guess that's not the case. I thought Sagat's spell would be range-based. Like how far they are from Sagat. Shit. The skellies are all tied to an individual Sagat. Man, these comments, dude. Like, even if you are right, the way you're talking is so stupid. And you're not right, dude. How could they all be tied to one Sagat when killing this one lets you kill the ones on the top floor? Killing the next one? Like, I think they're reason the I think the way it works is each Sagat has a group of skeletons that it controls. That's how I think it works. Fucking sucks. Look how quickly I got here with no issues. But even if you get here quickly with no issues, what are you going to do about it? The, the Black Knights got homies. I'm going to try a save and quit. I'm going to try a save and quit again. Okay, that almost happened again. Let's see how he how he spawns. On the cliff. Remember the cliff? That idea could have been the right idea. There he is! Don't knock him off. I hope skeletons don't join the fight. But they might. There they are. Right on cue. Fucking skeletons. Two of them. Oh god, this is like fucking ridiculously difficult with in this tiny ass room with all these stupid fucking skeletons. Oh! 
Ugh. Shit. Bait them to the edge, question mark? I hate you. Happy New Year. Uh, thanks, Hellshake and Manual Cars. Thanks, Les Samurai and Filthus and Labor Nash and El Corvo and Keaton and Hector. <coughs> thanks. Save and quit, then bait the BK out of the hole. Do you realize that there are bone wheels downstairs? Bait him out of the hole. You could level up faith instead of strength and go for the Astora sword. How is that going to do anything? You think it will kill the Black Knight very quickly? That's the idea? Hey, what if that's the idea? Holy damage kills skeletons. Whoa. What sword? New strat? In the Valley of the Drakes. <laughs> Thank you. You need the master key? So I'd have to use my humanities, huh? The Astora sword is the one by the dragon. I know the one that barfs. How much, uh, what are the stats needed to wield that? Fourteen faith. Ten strength and dex. Seems like a lot for one run. I mean, is it though? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. I'll decide when I go there. It's not that far. I don't have the master key, so I have to start over, right? Let's try that idea. Hey, your idea sucks. I'm going to try it. It's a two-minute run. Yeah, I know. It's not that far. I'm going to try it. Oops. New. Oh, I got to delete. And if it works, it was your idea. Yeah, I'll let you know whose idea it was after I try it. Uh, co-join. Two. Um, sex, very female. Now here, is there something I want to do differently? Like, what if I start with the cleric? He already has 14 faith. What do you think about this idea? And I need the master key. Thief for the master key and twin humanities. What does the thief start with? I don't have the strength. You, na you need the faith to perma kill skeletons. It's 14 in faith. So it's 10, 10, 14. I can get the 14. Uh, then I'll need one more for the 10 strength. You don't need? You don't need the faith? Oh. So then all I need is one strength and the thief is the go-to? You don't even need the strength. Two-handed. So you could just wear this shit with the thief no problemo right out the box? It's on. Uh, so he gets the thief. He gets the master key automatically. So I'll go twin humanities. I'll go physique average. Put on a nice little commoner face and a nice little bun. And we're good to go. New plan. New plan. The last plan fucking sucked, and that was your plan. This new plan, I like the, the new idea. Killing the skeletons permanently is going to be clutch. I'll be able to just fight the Black Knight no problemo, and it's like a two-minute run. I'm getting one kill per hour over here. So taking an extra two minutes to be able to kill those skeletons might be, might be fucking, you know... Might be a good idea. Thank you. 
I'm getting I'm getting pretty hype about that idea. That's no time. Speaking of, I killed Uber Eater of Worlds seven times yesterday, and he did not drop shit. Dropped a couple of dude. There's a there's a forbidden flesh jewel that I forgot about. That's it's an ascendancy point that says take twenty five percent less damage and deal ten percent less damage. <laughs> That's the one I got. What kind of a shitty fucking keystone is that? Take 25% less damage and deal 10% less damage? That sucks. Well, anyway, I got that one. And I got the one that makes Gale Force. The Ranger one that gets Gale Force or whatever it's called. I'm glad I could do it, though. It was kind of a struggle, actually. I think that spell suppression is pretty important for uber bosses. But I still did it seven out of eight times. I bricked one. The tentacles, if I'm standing in the middle of the tentacles when it slams, they would kill me. The laser beam would kill me, no doubt. And if I got hit by the anything, basically any move that this guy has would kill me. Why are you green? Hey, watch me be nice to this guy. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, welcome to the stream. Um, oh, man, it's so difficult. It's so hard. If only you knew the challenge I'm facing right now. Hey, welcome to the stream. Whew, that was tough. That was tough. Oh, thank you. Feels like I hurt myself doing that. <laughs> Ow. Thank you. I think I hurt myself. I pulled a muzzle being nice there. Uh, thanks, you Jazzes and K Wall and Tiny Goblin and Quimpy and Hostess Truck and Hellshake. Fuck. Um, you know, it just really makes me wonder, like, if you're someone who's not trying to be annoying on purpose, <laughs> like, you. what, what kind of a thing is that to ask? Why are you green? Like, it's just so rude, you know? Like, if you were, you just come in and ask a question like that, you just, you, to me, you're being rude, so you deserve it being, you deserve rudeness in return. That's why I'm rude to people. How is that rude? What you're saying right now is rude. How is that rude? Let me explain to you how it's rude. Random strangers are not deserved an explanation. You, you are a random, worthless cocksucker. You are not deserved an explanation. That guy who came in here off the street and said, why are you green? You, you don't deserve a fucking explanation. You're a fucking nobody asshole. And you're just walking in off the street and interfering you understand how that's rude you are being disruptive with a question that's meaningless and the answer to it is of no value to you or anyone you're just being a disruptive bitch do you understand how that's being rude you can't piece that together on your own it's being it's worthless disruptive and annoying you, and unoriginal. Do you understand? It's clean, simple. You can, if you hang around here, even for five minutes, you will realize that every fucking dumbass says that shit off the street. Everyone who comes in here says, why are you green? But none of them realize, who gives a fuck why I'm green? Shut the fuck up, asshole. You know? How the fuck did you even get in here? How about hello? You ever thought of that? Hello. Try that. Hello. You ever think of that? <laughs> Thank you. What a dumb fuck. Not the first guy. The first guy who said, uh, why are you green? That guy's just regular Thank dumb. You. The other guy who was like, how is that rude? 
That guy is so fucking dumb, I can't believe it. Because he's just oblivious, doesn't understand the concepts presented to him. Right in front of you. <coughs> anyway, it's cool. You, hopefully I at least made some sense to you. Though I suspect you are still thinking, that's not rude. It's fine. I'm not trying to convince you of anything. In fact, I'm trying to erase you. But, and really, like, if you break down all the shit that I just said in the last five minutes, none of it was really that rude, was it? Maybe I would have called him a dumb cocksucker or something, right? Whatever, I'll work on it. I'm trying my best to not be rude. It's my New Year's resolution. Hey, Billy Hoyle. Nice Gloria. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you can use that weapon right off the right off the money. So that means I gotta go get that dragon, the sleeping one. Uh, thanks, Snoogans. Thanks, Billy Hoyle. Just Dom and Sandwich. Thanks, Pope of Dope. Haitian hey, Tristan. Thanks, man. Thanks, Bussy Destroyer and Huge Asses. Muchos Garcias. I gotta go downstairs, right? This way. You need the faith? What do you mean, dude? The chat room told me I don't need the faith. What is uh, what is going on here? Could you guys um, <laughs> Thank you. fucking make up your minds? Thanks, ADH Degenerate. Do not need the faith to permakill skeletons. Alright, well that's what I'm gonna go with. Thanks, Rutherford. I'm trying to recollect. Oh, yeah, this way. Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty close. This doesn't really add much time to the run. It's just one, like, you know, two shakes. I already have a visual on the target. <sighs> Which one of these is it? Not this one. Okay, it's that one. Fuck! Ah! Oh! Okay, I got the sword. Uh. Why can't I use this? So I'll kill skeletons with this? Hey, thanks, Widom. Pull up quick to get Widom. This plan might suck. Uh, maybe I should get the stats for it. Or maybe I have to equip... Uh, let's see. What if I... So, I don't know. What's the plan here? Nice Raiden, by the way. Thanks. Maybe soften them up? This plan fucking sucks, dude. You just have to hit the last hit. Oh. Bitch. Oh. God, what is your problem? Mm. 
butt hash. Jack Miller, Fox. Well, I don't have any fucking weapons with this class that can even do that. Like, I don't have any weapons to soften them up to then get the last hit. Thief sucks. Whose idea was this? Now, you know how annoying people have been? What is that about? Hey, how come all you guys are so fucking annoying? I thought it was supposed to be Funny Friday. Shit. Not all of you. Just some of you. Maybe you guys are taking advantage of my kindness. You think that's the case? <laughs> Funny. Morning star. Game by my favorite streamer, smile, happy big Friday. You get parried. Uh, thanks, Tickleus and Saunter. Uh, all Puma and Break Time Shagohod. <laughs> and thanks, Lieutenant Luz. <laughs> Thank you. What is this, dude? How can you sit in a green room all day? Hey, take care. See ya. I'm not sitting in a green room. My camera is just green. This is a regular colored room. Regular room. Anyway, you are no longer wanted here. And I removed you. Permanently. You're not invited. I hope you don't mind. Tom, I want a room. I want a room. Uh, hey, thanks, Dixby Lincoln. Appreciate it, Dixby. No Tekken World Tour for that guy. I don't know what he's saying, but yeah, you you don't talk. Hey, thanks. Uh, Ares is new cam. And Raiden roll. Did he get it? No, he got Kage, I think. Uh, thanks, Captain Butt. And Fabivs. And Lieutenant Luce and Saunter. Thanks, bros. I got the Balding Star. So you're telling me the plan is equip the Balding Star and two hand it. And then offhand Astora's straight sword. Soften them up with the Balding Star, then finishing blow them um, with the Astora Sword. I gotta take off all my clothes. There we go. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Thank you. I'm ready to fight skeletons to the death. Where's the exit? Oh yeah, I gotta take a break. Thanks for reminding me. Break time, Herschel. Uh, thanks, PJ. You guys agree with me, like, if I just permanently ban people silently, that's not being rude, right? And that's perfectly fair when it comes to my New Year's resolution. I just get rid of them. Clean. I think that'll work. Um, but, you know, it's so hard because that's not enough. You know, sometimes I feel like that's not enough. Like, I need, I need revenge. So what I'll do is I'll silently ban them, and then I'll silently hex them. And it will be a random hex, a loot crate hex. So either you're gonna just get something, ah, that sucks, or you're gonna get something really bad. And it's all up to chance. Good luck with that fucking hex, worthless bitch. Um, I should leave out the worthless bitch, right? I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Uh, I'll leave that part out and just just keep the whole thing silent. You gotta work with me. Okay, it's break time, Shalashaska. I better sit. <coughs> yeah, I'm I'm still in the lab trying to figure out exactly what type of nice I'm gonna be. Mm, thanks, Brock. Hey, so far so great. 
It's been a wild ride, literally. That we had a car chase earlier too. Nice. I'm in. Tell me where to sign. And also, thanks for the advice on being nice. You guys probably watch a lot of streamers that are also nice, like me. So you can kind of like tell me their strats, what they do. I'm open-minded. Uh, you know what? What do they do when someone says something that? is fucking annoying and borderline offensive and they are ready to fucking yell at them you guys got to tell me the strap punch a punching bag that doesn't sound like a good idea they always ignore you mean like the physical act of ignoring or do you mean like click, 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 ignore this user? Because ignoring is easy. I can do that, no problem. But that does not satiate the need for vengeance. If you just ignore, this person goes on the rest of their day not having something terrible happen to them. So, you know, like I need revenge. They must pay. You see what I mean? So something has to happen, whether it's a hex or a ban or something. They have to pay. If they don't pay, then that means not only are they going to think that this shit will stand, but everyone who observed it, too. Every fucking observer in here is going to be like, hmm, writing this down. Hmm, that guy got away with this. Write that down. I'm an annoying bitch, too. Maybe in the future, I'm going to get away with this. No. That's not how it's going to work. That guy did not get away with this, and neither will you. doesn't have anything to do with being nice, all right? This is the law, okay? Guilty. Anyway, what do you guys want to listen to? Man, streaming is so sick, dude. It really feels like, I mean, I don't know. I've only lived one life as far as I know. But there are some, I can tell you from firsthand experience, you can find something that you were meant to do. You were meant for. You were put on earth to do this thing. That's how I feel about streaming. It is like something that I genuinely feel like I enjoy everything about it and I can manage it in a way where it will be fun forever. I don't think that everyone can do that. You know what I mean? I can make it fun forever, you know, just by yelling at you. It's sweet. <sighs> anyway, mm, I mean, I'm assuming forever. It's been a while. You never know. You guys want to listen to Bison? I like that song. Thanks for the streams last year, amigo. Just last year? <laughs> Thank you got it. <laughs> Thank you. Found it. Hey, thanks very much. What was your name? Hold on. Don't circumcise me, bro. Thanks. And Rebu and B Brock. Thanks, bros. Break time. Lightning! <laughs> and shit. Poof. Nice break. I'm having a good day, I noticed. Don't forget to drink water. We'll see if this plan of yours works. It might end up being a plan of mine. Um, soften them up with the balding star. Polish them off with the holy sword that's going to kill them. And then beat the black knight. Do I have everything I need? <clears throat> Uh, yeah, six humanity and a balding star and a dream. Let's see how much damage this does to skeletons just so I can test it out. Wow, it's got such a... Oh, this does no damage. Fucking thing sucks, dude. <laughs> Thank you. At least it stuns them. Like, they, they lose their tops. Nice fucking back dashes. I'm not sure about this plan, but I, it could work. It's just gonna take 
some effort. I gotta hit them a thousand times. But it might be worth it. Considering I'm getting one kill and. Huh. Uh... Get 14 faith? To use the other sword? I don't have it, but I could, right? Did I lose the souls that I had from the start? Maybe I could have gotten 14 faith. Reroll with 14 faith? I like the idea. Let's try it. <clears throat> New. So what are you saying? 10, 10, 14, right? This is Kojina 3. What character then? If I go deprived, I can put my first three points into faith and I'll be good. You only need two decks if you go cleric. I could just go deprived, right? I'll go deprived and then I'll just put the three points that I get for killing the fatso in the beginning. Uh, I'll use the twin. Oh, you need the master key. So if I do this plan, then I only go into the fight against the Black Knight with what? Four humanity? Do I get four? Still worth it. You might be right if I can easily... I mean, we'll see. We'll see how much damage the Astora Sword does. Commoner. I like the outside the box problem solving though. I'm impressed. Despite the fact that the idea sucks if you start warrior you can wield the grave lord sword with three strength yeah but getting the grave lord sword is a double the mission yeah excuse me that was my original idea remember that original idea the original plan was getting the grave lord sword and then using it to kill the black knight but then i realized that that is a major huge step so the, the new idea was to skip that and just kill him, which is very doable if I could just isolate him. And I've done that a few times, but for some reason, there's just a lot of skeletons sometimes, and it feels like unpredictable how many skeletons there's going to be. Uh, what exactly is Ares trying to do? I'm trying to get the Black Knight axe from the Black Knight. What exactly are you trying to do? There's only one accessible Black Knight in the game that you can get to this early that has the weapon I'm trying to get. And I'm trying, he, his drop odds of dropping it is one in five. So that's what I'm trying to get. I've killed him like four times so far and he hasn't dropped it. So I'm pretty much guaranteed to get it this next try. Mathematically speaking. No pity. Man, don't you love shit like that? I watched an interview with the dudes that are making PoE2 about their philosophies on like dead stats and shit like that. I think that's so cool. Like, they intentionally put things like light radius and crap that, like, reduced attribute requirements as potential stats to make the ones that are desirable hype. They're literally there just to suck. By design. That's a cool idea. Because it also makes the user unaware of it happening. All the user thinks is, what the fuck, light radius, this sucks. Why would they even put that in? But that action in itself is a part of how hype you get when you get something good. So it's like this weird psychological technique that game devs use 
Uh, man, I bet you this same technique could easily be predatory if you apply it to a real money transaction video game. So fucked up, dude. The, these same concepts go from being totally wholesome, interesting game development concepts to full predatory, uh, like uncouth, f shitty practices if you just turn it into a real money game. That sucks. Oh well. I hope I never like a game like that. So far I have never liked a game that has real money gambling. That's not cosmetic, of course. <clears throat> I suspect just based on my personality that I will never become addicted to something that's cosmetic and gambling based. Just knowing my personality. Uh, I need the sword. Level up. Faith. 13? That's what I need, right? 13? Or is it 14? 14. Oh, but I have enough, don't I? Don't I have some? I have nothing to eat? There's one around here. 14, there's a snack in the graveyard. Oh, yeah! Thanks. A snack! <laughs> I got nothing to eat here, dude. Go get a snack. A little midnight milk and hot dogs. Ow. Love hot dogs. Man, I really like that emote, dude. That's a hit. I should come up with some more ideas. I like that emote. I like the way she opens one of her eyes first and then the other one. I'll think about it. Oh yeah, eat the snack. The thing is, when it comes to emotes, it doesn't have to be... there. I realize this. It has to be something that I want to look at a million times forever. So it really doesn't have that much to do with anything else. Like, that is the most important thing. I'm going to have to see this shit forever a million times every day. It doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. It has to be something that I want to look at. I like the Ocelot one, too. But mostly because of that line. That's easily, easily my favorite line in that whole game. Easily. I was hiding in this arm all along. That is easily my favorite line in that whole game. Just like in part one, my favorite is, What's the matter, Snake? You don't like girls? That's a good line. <laughs> mind controlling, mind controlling Meryl? That is too good. Uh, elevator. Good game. Man, why did they make Olga into Ninja? Fucking Kojima, that game sucks. That game sucks. Can't wait to play it again. I'm excited to play MGS4. That game sucks too. That game sucks. I'll play MGS4 eventually. They're gonna re-release it on Steam. Cause I don't feel like figuring out how to hook up my PS3. That shit seems like it's gonna not only require like effort, but it's gonna require me to buy something that I don't have and that I'm never gonna use. So I don't think it's a good idea. I don't mind pulling out some plugs and plugging some shit in if that's all it took, but it's going to require me to buy... Literally, I'll have to buy a Metal Gear 4 solid device. Uh, you know. You can emulate. That's one option, but it seems to be not uh, smooth from what I've heard. I, it seems to be not like a smooth process. Hey, this guy doesn't even wake up. What a dumbass. Cool, I got the sword. 
Did I level up my shit? I did. I think I can use this sword. Now, in theory, this sword should do a reasonable amount of damage to those skeletons. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case. It can kill them. That's for sure. But I needed to do reasonable damage. Like if I could kill them in five hits, maybe five. Yeah, the what up, flowers? Flowers? Uh, hey, thanks, uh, Sherman. I'm doing great. Yeah, this is a holy sword. Who are you calling flowers? Pumpkin pie? Oh, I got a couple ideas, actually. Damn, I got, I just got an idea. Cool. It hit me. I just got an idea for a emo. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. Uh, okay. I got my sword. Let's go test it out on the skeletons. The zero issue boys. Uh, I guess. Yeah, that's okay. That's not bad. Out. And he died. That's actually pretty good. Oh man, backstab does mega damage. I think it's on. I think this was the strat. The ultimate strat all along. I think it's the strat. I can kill them. So all I gotta do is kill them. They'll be fucking dead. And then I'll fight the Black Knight. Nice. Nice. This was a team effort. I know usually when a plan is good, I take full credit for it. Uh, but in this case, I'm only going to take 75% of the credit. Which leaves plenty of credit for the rest of you. And if you ask me, I think that's a fair deal and I'd take it. Seventy twenty. Man, it's so crazy. I love going down memory lane. I'm a big fan of that activity. And when I do that, when I go down memory lane, it's like, oh no, memory lane! Um, it's like crazy to me. Because there's a lot of stuff that's happened and stuff that I've done that feels like, no way, you did that? Ah, oh, fuck. Still good, though. Lever is pulled. It's hard to even believe that I've done all these weird, cool things. Good times. <laughs> There's so many different, just, occasions. And places I've been to. There have been so many places I've been to that I've forgotten about. You know, like not memorable. <laughs> not memorable places. In the US, of course. I ordered pizza, of course. There's plenty for everyone if you're interested. What are you having? Maybe I should kill him. Not you. Where's the guy? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. So it's better to kill than it is to... Um... Kick him off. 
This is perfect. This plan is good. This plan is good. One at a time, I'll just fuck these guys up. Get shot by Sagat. They're out of the picture. And then it's just gonna be me and the Black Knight. You could tell he's scared. I would be if I was him. Four hits. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Don't knock him off the edge. Aw, oh, you fucking son of a bitch! I'll see you later, motherfucker. I can't believe that. All I gotta do is take my time in this section and lure them out and then one at a time kill them for good with my holy sword. And then it's on. Nice plan. Isn't it amazing how cool this game is? You have so many options on so many things to do at the very beginning. Freedom on different ways to play it and progress different sections of the map you could go to. Don't forget the humanity. Yeah, I will. I mean, I won't. But it's not time yet. Hello. Fucking guy. Okay, there might be at least one or two more down here. I want to fight them, right? Because if I don't fight them, then they're just going to drop in on me when I'm fighting the Black Knight. So you might as well just fucking fight them now. Where are you? Hello? 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 What the hell? See some glowing eyes. Is this where the Sagat is? It is! Okay. Oh. Fuck. Okay. Oh! Okay, that was the part of the deal that, that was the surprise. You see that surprise? They're snipers, but there's also regular fucking bitch-ass cholos, too. All right. I'm glad I waited. There's a sniper squad, but there's also a regular squad. Okay, dead. Man, this weapon is tight. Holy damage. If I kill this Sagat, he's gonna be dead forever. Oh, that almost hit me. All three hits. The triple three hit combo. I did not want to jump there. I wanted to roll. Not that it would have helped. Now what the fuck? Three hit combo? I didn't want to jump. I wanted to fucking roll. I didn't want to jump. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. I, the, the plan's still good. That was my first try of the plan. You gotta give it a couple tries. This is technically the, the first try still. You could change the jump button and remaster? To what? No way. No way. 
No way. Really? I don't see it. Button settings. What the hell? Are you sure? Did I miss it? I tried. Is there a tab? Key settings. Oh. Jump! Huh? Jump. Input already aside. Oh. Cancel. So when you push this button, what's the jump button in like the the new Souls games? It's L3. <laughs> Thank you. Did I do that wrong? What did I do wrong? Uh, key settings. You didn't save it. Oops. Why is this not already what it is? Okay. Okay. How do you go back? Oh, save changes. <laughs> Thank you. All right, not bad. It worked. Nice work. Okay, now I'm jumping for real. No more bullshit. Now I'm going to push circle to jump, and then I'm not going to jump. And then I'm going to die at least once or twice because of that. Just letting you know what I have in store for you. Uh, thanks, Tronal. Thanks, Yezorus. And Yasuka, whatever. And thanks, Dillist. Is there a guy chasing me? Uh. Ah! How is he not dead? There's another guy. There he is. He's leaving. No need <laughs> for trouble. Thank you. Hello? Hello. Thanks, wet dad kisses and dumpster diving. Oh, shit. I ordered pizza. What are you having? Thanks, to Dabla Cone. And... Jalapeno cheese bread. And dillist, dillist of weeds. Oh, don't kick. I didn't mean to kick there. You guys see him? I lost him. Sushi for big dinner. Hey, thanks. Enjoy. Oh, oh, oh! Enjoy. Uh, thanks. Fuck. Still good, though. I'm getting used to the weapon. I'm getting used to the weapon. Just let me get used to it. So far today, no kills on the Black Knight. Man, I'm having fun. No kills? <laughs> That's sick. That's sick. It's not even one kill per hour. It's gotten worse. But that's because we were in the lab. 
this whole this is a new idea okay this whole you know the sword the holy straight sword or whatever this is a new idea i'm i'm fine tuning it right now i'm fine tuning the new idea God, these guys are such fucking dicks. Their moves can go combine in a way that is so stupid. The potential move combinations. The way they can do the double slash and then it can make you bleed and then a roll combo. Fucking thing sucks. And they do psycho crushers and shit all day. Don't knock them off the cliff. Smooth, nice and easy. Oh my god, the range on that! Absurd. Okay. There's no rush. Cool. Holy shit, be cool. Hate that jump. Okay. Alright. That's basically the halfway point. I guess technically it's not the halfway point. Uh, but we're getting there. Now I gotta deal with these two guys. Hello. What's the heavy attack for this? Oh, horizontal swipe. This, this. I gotta maybe learn some combos. What's the back dash attack? Oh, that might be good. Oh, what? What just fucking hit me? What is hitting me? What was that, dude? I'm just taking a stun for nothing? What the fuck was that? What was that? I don't give a fuck what it was. Kill him. I'm just getting stunned by nothing? It must be them being airborne, right? They didn't die, did they? Maybe they're airborne when they get off the ladder. Let's try that. Yes, that is what happens. This motherfucker Miyazaki, dude. Are you stone? They count as being airborne when they get off the ladder, and that stuns me. Fucking stupid bitch. All right. Now that I know the rules, I won't argue. Oh! Oh! Okay, he's dead. With six juices left. Don't have the humanity snack yet. Not yet. We're good to fight him, right? They're not going to come over here. God, I hope they don't come over here. You think they're going to come over here if I go in? We're good. Alright. Then in that case... Use for humanity. So because I started with the master key to get this sword, I don't have six humanity. But ah, all I need is four. Excuse me. Alright, let's see what kind of damage I'm packing against this fucking bitch. Big damage? Ah, it's whatever. It's good. It's just like the piece of wood, right? Similar damage to the wood. Wood damage. Uh-oh. Oh, that was close. Man, this plan was good. This plan... This plan was good. The faith sword killing the skeletons? That was the game-changing idea. Now all he's got to do is give it to me. He gave it to me! 
That's crazy. I told you mathematically. I got it. Mathematically, dude, this was the fifth kill. That was tight. Man, the effort I went through. This weapon's whack. What do you guys want to play now? Thank you. That was sick. I can't carry it. It's too heavy. That guy had 1,900 bucks. Do I have a homeward bone? Let's go out of here and see if I can equip it. I don't have any homeward bones? Wow. Well, that sucks. Yes. Uh, hey, thanks. I don't have any... Dark sign will lose my souls. Uh, what I'll do is... I'll equip this and I'll run for pinwheel and see if I can get to him. And if I get to him, maybe I could kill him. Kill the other black knight? Oh, God. Run! Oh! Ah! I hit my foot! Oh! On the low! I hit my foot on the desk! Oh! That was way worse than dying. Stupid bitch. I kicked a little bit when I saw the guy. Uh, thanks, Doc. You can't heal with all those guys rolling around. There's no time to heal, dumbass. Scrub. Happy New Year. Uh, it's okay. My fucking foot will be fine. Um. Okay, well, I have the axe now. What are the requirements for it? 3618. Whose idea was this? How much do I need to two-hand it? 16? No, 20, 23? 24 strength and 18 dexterity? <laughs> so you can't even use that shit until like end game. No one was gonna tell me this. This whole time I was struggling to kill that guy early so I could play the game with that axe. No one bothered mentioning that the axe requires 24 strength and 18 dexterity. <laughs> well, look. Whether or not the axe itself has any value is irrelevant. It was a challenge to acquire and we put our minds together and I succeeded. But now we could do something else. How do you want to play the next run? I liked it. Go for the BKS. I could. Can I one hand this weapon? Yeah, I can. Okay, yeah, let me go do that. The baller sword? Ooh. Ooh. That's a nice sword in this game. The baller side sword. That's not a bad idea. Oh, and you can get it next to the Chandler, but it's super rare, right? Getting it from that guy is really tough to do. The guy you want to get it from is the guy from Sen's Fortress. Man, this sword is good. I've never bothered using it at the start. The sword's pretty tight. Nice idea. I still want to use that axe, but maybe I'll use it later. I didn't realize it was that big. The Black Knight axe? It's fucking huge. I didn't know it was going to be that big. Yeah, it's long.
Which sword is weak later on? The Baldur's side sword? No, it's not. That's a top tier sword. Isn't that one of the best weapons in the game? I think it's the best straight sword in the whole game. <laughs> Thank you. It's the top tier straight sword. Of that weapon class, it's the best. <laughs> Thank you. I'm using the Astora sword right now. I used it to kill the skeletons, which was such a great idea, by the way. The bad idea was trying to kill the skeletons in the foot. First place. I was talking. That didn't count. I was talking. And I'm going to be talking again. You gotta go top speed. Did you get the weapon from that Black Knight? I did. This is the run where I got it. It's in my pocket. I just didn't know the whole time I was trying to get it that it's impossible to equip it until like way later because it takes so much strength and dexterity. I didn't know that. And the chat room kept that out of the equation just so they could see me struggle the entire time, which is fine. I enjoyed the process. Only 20 levels? Uh, that's not early game. Hey, thanks for liking my stream, yellow name. Okay, there's another Black Knight down here that I have a bone to pick with. Whoa. Okay. So Pendejo, remember me? Uh oh! Fucking out of range. Okay, no problem. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Damn, that did a shitload of damage. Wow, that was crazy. Two hits? Titanite Chunk, he was a cheapskate. Quaylag can give you crazy EXP. Uh, oh! Fuck! Would you shut the fuck up, dude? I forgot about that. Over here, reading some shitty ass advice. Quaylag could give you crazy EXP, you know. Um, Quaylag giving you crazy XP. Should I go kill Quaylag with this? It's kind of a ways away. Yeah. Ah, my favorite Black Knight weapon is the BKS. The regular one, not the Ultra Greatsword. I think the BKH is played out, and I think the Black Knight Axe is too big. I like the regular sword. It's just right. That's also one of my favorites in Dark Souls 3 because I really like the Perseverance weapon art. Perseverance is cool. Uh, thanks, Catbag and Frostbite. And thanks, Kaishin and Crab Juice and Doc Lopex, Scar Duquen and Fallen Zero and... Mr. Dobelina, thanks Papa Roach fan, and everyone else, happy new year and big Friday. Let me get up and stretch, and I'm going to try and kill Quaylag.
I don't think that Quelag is going to give me enough souls to equip that axe, though, right? Like, even if I go all the way down there, kill Quelag, and then um, Homeward Bone all the way back to the shrine, to the... Yeah, no way. No way. All the way back to Fireling Shrine with a Homeward Bone to then sit at this bonfire and then use the souls to level up? I doubt it. Unlikely. Is this guy still making his dude? Hey, all right, man. How's it going? Happy New Year. Is this guy still making his dude? All right. Um, thanks, Frostbite. I'm going to get up and stretch. Cool comments. Let's see here. What am I going to listen to? Something that is right for the occasion. What occasion? Yeah, you know, just some annoying bitch commenting. Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah. I'll be back in five to seven minutes. Lightning! And shit. Poof. Hold on. Second comment, huh? See ya, bud. Was that the wrong guy? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you shot someone else? I didn't shoot that guy. I shot someone else. Um, thanks, Crit Keeper. Thanks, Blonde Dad. Appreciate it, bros. What happened? Nice, I got the axe. But I don't want it. You'll be pretty damn close to equipping the axe <laughs> after Quaylag. Okay. Let's go for it. Hmm. How do you get there? This way, right? I think perma banning is not rude. I just came back from the break, looked in the chat, noticed a guy. I didn't like him. I felt like, oh, this guy? I could easily live without never seeing him again. So I pulled him over. And it was only a second comment in here. I mean, being annoying by your second comment I think it's like a minority report situation, right? Pretty much, I'm just hooking myself up in the future. Saving myself time. Get rid of them, you know? I didn't say anything. Just got rid of them. That still does not break my New Year's resolution. I didn't say I wouldn't ban people. In fact, I think I'm going to ban people way more now because I'm not yelling at them. Sometimes I feel like I yell at people as like a way to prevent myself from banning them. But I think this is a better way. Because that way I'll still be nice. You're my favorite streamer smile. Thanks. You're a pretty girl. You're a pretty girl? Well, that's a plus. Uh, but on the bright side, I always... C I consider everyone to be a pretty girl, you know? Mostly because there's so many gay heiress fans. And I figure, you know, if I'm going to be getting compliments from gay heiress fans, I might as well. And if they're going to think I'm gay... What the fuck is this shit, dude? Poison, poison, poison. Oh, toxic fucking motherfucker! Oh. I forgot. I forgot about those dart blowing bitches over there that shoot toxic darts. I forgot. 
Uh, I'll, I'll try that one more time. Dark blowing bitches. <laughs> Robocop new game plus soon. Thanks, Balky Bartokamus. And thanks, Dogson. Or whatever. And Nancy. And Crit Keeper. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. And Psy Lobster. <laughs> Yo! See you next year at Nationals, Scrub. Thanks. What are you doing, my friend? Oh, what the fuck? Thanks for all the years of entertainment. Here's a month of big dinner. What Happy the evening. fuck is this? Are you? Is that a mistake? Five hundred bucks, dude. You must have gotten really lucky. <laughs> Thank you. Damn, man. I mean, I know I'm good. You don't have to tell me that. But that good? Thanks. That's very nice of you. I'm a I'm a lucky girl. Thanks. That's a lot of pizzas. Hey man, I hope you get lucky. Extra luck buff for everyone on the house. You can thank uh, whatever that guy's name is, Crit Keeper. Um, hey, thanks, man. Damn, extra luck buff on the house is pretty sweet. <laughs> Let me get some of that. Cool. I get some, too. Me, too. Speaking of extra luck buff... Hey, by the way, thank you again, uh, Crit Keeper. That's super nice of you. 40% um, item quantity, 130% item rarity. Right now, that's the best I could do while keeping Chaos Resistance capped. That's the best I could do. If I uncap, if I go down to like 20% or 30% Chaos Resistance, I can get... 200% item rarity. I don't really know. I don't remember how much I had that one league where I went. Magic find. I can't remember the values I had, but it seems pretty good for bone shatter considering I um, didn't plan on doing magic find initially. Just drop the tentative charm. Man, it's so hard to get plus one impale charms. There's only one that exists, and it has some other stat that I don't want. Plus one Impale Charms are impossible to get on console. When you search for them, uh, it shows that there's like fucking hundreds on PC, and there's one on console. Bullshit. I hate MF. It feels so bad. You're just doing it wrong, dude. I don't know what there is to hate about something so sick. I mean, what is there... You, what is there to hate? It's so tight. You know, the people who hate on things like that are people who hate on luck. Like, I hate luck. And the only reason you hate luck is because of that attitude, man. You need to start liking luck and then you'll get lucky, right? You'll be singing a different tune. Yeah, what's there to hate about Magic Find? This is the most... Even if you don't like Magic Find, you could just use it to fund... The coolest character you've ever dreamed of. <clears throat> you know? Hating Magic Find is such a weird concept. I guess you can hate it. It's fair to hate the idea of it. Right? Like, I hate it when games put that in the game. Fair. That's fair. But if you like a game that has it, you already like a game that has Magic Find, that's where it's like... It doesn't add up. Because I... I'm sure in order to get what you want in Path of Exile, you do something that sucks. Everyone does. I mean, that's how the game works. Any game that requires grinding, you're going to grind. And that grind sucks, right? So if you consider magic finding the same as any other grind, then what's the difference? I mean, who the fuck likes heist? Who the fuck likes anything, right? 
You just do what you gotta do to get the currency you need to make the dope ass character you wanna make. And Magic Find is just another avenue of farming. You know? I hate dying. I hate dying too. I'm with you on that. But you can avoid it. I mean, I'm magic finding with no deaths right now. Or at least that's the goal. Of course, you die from time to time. But first of all, get to level 100. That's what I wanted to do, and I did. We gave up on the Black Knight Axe? Actually, no. It's right here. The Black Knight Great Axe. You know, it's funny. This whole time, I didn't know it was a Great Axe. I thought it was just an axe. It's a lot bigger than I thought, and as a result, requ requires way more shit. Requires way more stats. <coughs> um, I will agree with you, though, that magic finding in Path of Exile is not as cool as it is in Diablo 2. In Diablo 2, you're not supposed to die. <laughs> You're not supposed to die, but in PoE, it feels like you're almost supposed to die. Almost. You don't have to, but the best way to do it is to use your portals as defense. How long does this shit take? Chandler's Trident has a 1% drop chance if you want another thing to farm. 1%? 1%? How could that be? I'll get that shit first try. How could it be 1%? I've gotten it so many times. I think you're making that number up. Do you know what 1% means? That means you have to fight him 100 times to drop it one time. Oh, you mean it's 1% off the first Chandler, and then it gets easier from the second Chandler in, in the Duke's archives? Because I know that the Baldur's side sword is droppable by the first Balder Knight that wields it, but it's harder to get from him than in Sense Fortress. No, it's just 1%. They're all 1%. Maybe it's harder to get it from the first guy because there's only one of them. Maybe that's what I'm remembering wrong. Yeah, yeah, titties. Alright, alright. Kiss those titties goodbye, lady. I better do massive damage against her right now. Here comes the big damage. Oh my god. I can't believe how low my damage is. <laughs> Well, that's good. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a sweet spot. Maybe I should heal. Seems like a waste. Nice whiff. Rolling for Raiden. Thanks. <coughs> There's been a couple of Raidens today already. And like a Waldo, right? Yeah, I'm doing no damage.
was clutch. Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Rolling for Raiden. Nice try. Thanks. Ooh. Hey, thanks again. Uh, what was that guy's name? Something about Skeet. Oh! I forgot his name. A crit keeper, that's it. Hey, thanks. Thanks again. <laughs> my boy Skeet. Oh! Oh my god, Skeet! You motherfucker! Why did I get killed? Fuck, man. Uh, thanks, yeah, Dragonfly. You're my favorite stream. I get parried. Thanks, The Judge. And Crack Carton. Thanks for the new sub. Lil Damager. And Wilma Fingerdo. Thanks, Cold Ham. And Crestfallen Knight. And OG Waffles. Try again. He got. She got lucky. Man, that's not nearby. <laughs> Fuck. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, what else can you do? Just fucking do it right this time. Grab Homeward Bones in Firelink. I get a Homeward Bone for free for killing her, right? I get a Homeward Bone for free. The only thing is, I have to kill her. And then I have to kill Quaylag without dying. That's the issue. So, not Quaylag. I have to kill Quaylag and I have to kill whatever the other guy's name is. Uh, what's her name? What's his name? Caesalus Discharge. I have to kill that guy. Or lady. She could be a lovely lady. Try the club. You think it's better? Stray Demon gives 20k souls. I don't even remember who the stray demon is. Is that the... Who the fuck's the stray <laughs> demon? The trophy's mine! Thanks, Chaos, whatever. And Crack Carton. Thanks, bros. Thanks. Stray demon? I don't remember who that is. Hey, what are you looking at? Need a luck buff to craft all this high scare. Hey, good luck. Do you know how to do it right? It's so important, dude. It's so important. It's frustrating how important it is. We're talking the difference m more than double or three times the return or more. Sometimes it feels like 10 times. Your experience will be 10 times more lucrative if you take the time to roll the gear correctly. Yeah, it's not that hard, but it can be a bitch. It'll take time, actually. If you're going to roll it yourself, which I did. I rolled it all myself with alterations. Uh, it can take some time. Make sure you use the right bases, too. I'm 700 alts in and no plus one job. Dude, you you have to make sure it's I, I level 84 plus, is it? It needs to be at level 84 or else you're never going to hit it. It is? Damn, 500? I think it's actually worse than that. I think the average expected chance for hitting that is definitely worse than 500. That's the hardest one to roll. Plus one all jobs. It says one out of 225, so he got lucky. I mean, unlucky. One out of 225 and then not hitting it in 500 is not unheard of. It could happen. I couldn't buy any of the gear because it wasn't available. But yeah, you can just buy it on trade. 
Geon. They're all mandatory, dude. I thought that, oh, I'll just gear up the important ones, but... The thing is, if you don't have one of them geared up, it fucks up your whole grand heist. Like, let's say the grand heist requires you to take Tibbs with you, right? And Tibbs doesn't have gear. And let's say you're swapping gear between them. It could... You could... It, forget it, dude. Don't even fucking bother. The whole thing's fucked. The whole thing's fucked. You gotta gear them all up. Every one of them needs to be geared up. If I was doing a tutorial for that shit, I would say every one of them needs to be geared up. Fuck heist. I mean, I don't know, man. I got a mage blood in three days with that shit or four days with heist. So yeah, fuck heist, but that shit's pretty tight. <laughs> you know? Just saying. Fuck sextants too? Yeah. Dude, unfortunately, I have at least 350 of those sextants and I'm gonna roll them. Because I want to get, you know, I want to do magic finding with Abyss. So I'm gonna roll my own sextants. I have 350. Ugh. Uh, sextant is a cartography tool. But it does have the word sex in it, so I can understand that you got excited. <coughs> You're gonna get like one abyss out of 52? I don't know if that's true. Sometimes I roll 100 and get five abysses. I roll the ones I find. I usually don't sell sextants, but I just roll them. I never have, I never buy them to roll for profit though. Yeah, yeah, you gotta spec into the Atlas to get four per, of course. That's <laughs> rookie shit. Thank you. I didn't know about blocking them? Oh, man, yeah, you can block them. You need one shrine and then two pack size. And then it blocks a few. But it honestly doesn't make that big of a difference. More of a navigation tool than a cartography tool. Uh, yeah, you're right. I used the wrong word. Uh, thanks, Falcon and Gilkey. Need a luck buff? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure, good luck. It's not that hard. You got this. Okay. I got this, too. Uh, so I'm gonna go full healed. And I'm gonna try that shit again. Sick axe. Are you talking about the one that I got from the Black Knight in my inventory? Or are you talking about the one that I crafted in PoE? Ah, excuse me. Both are pretty sick. The one I crafted in PoE is so sick. That was really cool. That's something that I won't forget. You know, like, uh, it's gonna be a good memory. Because I wanted that. Before the league even started, that was part of my plan. In fact, this is the first league ever where I made a plan and it happened exactly the way I wanted it to. In fact, easier than I expected. Like, that was my whole plan. Craft a dope <laughs> axe, then farm a mage blood, then get to level 100, and then now I, I didn't know about the magic find part, of course, but I killed, um, dude, I tried Uber, Uber Maven and I could have done it, dude. I forgot, dude. I, it, I only had one. I could have done it. I failed Uber Maven, but it was close. And it, I, two deaths were because I forgot that this bitch, all that shit that she does in the, in the fight stays. So the end of the fight has so much cock all over the floor. I forgot about that detail. Damn it. But I could have won. I killed uh, Uber Eater like uh, seven times though. And he didn't drop anything. Stingy motherfucker. <clears throat> but yeah, I could have done it. It was close. I just forgot about the cock And by the time I remembered, it was over. The, the whole shit was fucked. But it was close. One more portal and she would have been dead. 
The problem with that hoe is she teleports around, so you gotta chase her around. With bone shatter, you know? Yeah, I bricked the arena by having too many, like, pools, poison pools, or whatever those things are, degen pools everywhere. I still almost killed her, though, despite that. It was close. But if, had I not done that, I would have definitely killed her. I wanted to try farming her for a bit, but I only had one, and I'm too eager to do magic finding, so I switched out my gear for magic find again. <clears throat> the thing I do like about magic find is the problem solving it introduces. I do like that. Ouch, fucking bitch. Oh my god, dude, I was a mile away, dude. I was a mile away, dude. Thanks, Easy Tiger and Captain Falcon. I was a mile away. It's doable. You know this plan fucking sucks. <laughs> this plan is terrible. How? Why do I listen to you, dude? This plan is so fucking stupid because all I'm trying to do right now is get souls, right? That's all I'm trying to do. You could get fucking souls by going anywhere in this whole game. It's such a stupid plan. And you guys are just going to sit there and let me do this plan. Because one jerk off was like, hey, Eris, you know, if you go all the way down there and do this stupid dumb shit, you can get something that you could get by doing anything else, but it will be way harder. And I'm like, wow, that sounds like a great idea. And everyone's like, yeah, that's a good idea, Eris. <laughs> This is you taking advantage of my New Year's resolution that I'll be nice. I told you I'll still ban you. Stupidest idea ever. Officially. You're gonna interfere. Sit down! Ah! Beautiful. Anyway, where were we? What was the idea? Uh, hey, nice double question. First of all, let me say Happy New Year. Okay? That, I'd like to get out of the way. Secondly, the idea was that I'd go all the way down there and kill a couple of bosses, then teleport back up and use all those souls that I got to use the Black Knight Axe. Uh, but I decided against <laughs> it. I thought that it was way too much work for something that's going to happen anyway in probably about the same amount of time if you consider the fucking mistakes that I'm going to make. That is never factored in. 2024? Streamer is so nice. Listen, dude. Uh, Happy New Year. Alright. Did he get the axe? Yeah, I did. I just can't use it. Wow, this sword has a thrusting heavy attack? I had no idea. This sword is really fucking good, dude. What the hell? This sword is really good. I'm, a, I'm impressed. I mean, it's not as good as the... What? These guys... These guys have Estus Flask? They're fucking random scrubs. I can't believe they drink on you. No honor. Yeah, I got the axe. It costs fucking a shitload of stats to wield, and, and I don't have them.
Ding, ding, ding. So unfit. Man, the jalapenos that they put on my pizza today were amazing. That was weird. I wish every jalapeno had this much heat on it. They were really spicy. Ouch. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Create a little space. Nice no-look roll there. What the hell? Wow, you just got a fucking 360, dude? Just gonna 360, huh? Oh, and your little fucking footsteps are gonna do damage too? That's no problem. I'm prepared for that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What? AOE bullshit? Easy to do. Get the Havel ring? Okay. Is that over here? Oh, I'll kill this guy. This guy's a little bitch anyway. <laughs> nice fat roll, dude. Oh! Fucking magic using pussy. What the hell? I didn't know he does that. Ow. Thousand bucks all day plus two humanity and all these duds. Hey, what are you looking at? I leak a do to cha cha. What's that? Uh, thanks, co anchor, and fourteen crowns. Thanks, psyche psyche mop or whatever, and s top and robu. Thanks, bros. Took his wallet. I don't have any rings. What else, what else did this guy drop? Sunlight straight sword. Sunlight straight sword. That shit sucks, right? Bruce Almighty lol. I never watched that. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Rhetoric. It's basically just a long sword. <coughs> P 
patience. Right? Hey, what the fuck, dude? Hello? If whatever, if you're not gonna wake up, I'm gonna... Fuck! Get up! No! Open the damn thing! Uh, lever and vulnerability! Oh! Oh! Jesus Christ. All right. That was pretty good. Whew. That was close. All right. Now I'll go kill this Black Knight. This guy has the Ultra Great Sword. He's a bitch. It's bitch made. Sup. The other guy's got, like, orange-bronze-colored armor. This guy's got, like, silver, right? Oh, fuck. Mistake. What the fuck is it? What the? The guy! There's a guy down there! I forgot about this fucking son of a bitch interfering, dude. I forgot about the other guy. Second guy. Where did he go? What are you two kissing up here? Where the fuck's the other guy? Two dads? What the fuck? Now they're hanging out together? Okay, now he shows up. Okay. Now one dad? Oh, I tried to roll. Oh, God. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> he tripped. What is he doing? Well, no one's going to interfere now. Now it's just me and you, you stupid bitch. Oh, can't you even get cheesed right? What is this guy a fucking idiot? Get your ass up here and fight! Ah! Excuse me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you fucking spin having bitch. Okay, this is my last juice. Man, he twirls and shit before he attacks. Oh, nice, nice whiff. That was a good whiff. <laughs> Thank you. That's not what I wanted to do. Holy shit. Oh, nice whiff. Wonderful. And I did not want to go down there. Still good, still good. Ah! Oh! oh! Kill him. Oh. Man, I should have eaten humanities. Dude, I thought that guy was going to crush me right there. Uh, thanks, Silhouette. He didn't drop shit. And I'm out of Estus. Why don't you just go fill up? It's right here. Level up Amigo. Yeah, that too. Level up Amigo. Um, Let's see. You need 26 strength. And how much dexterity? 18 dexterity. 24, 18. Well, if this weapon scales with dexterity, I'll get it first. This weapon scales CC with both, then I'll get strength. Um, oops. Yeah, Dark Souls 1 is one of the best. The perfect joke. 17 strength. Maybe I can eat someone's soul, too. 
A little snack. Oh, I got a bunch. I doubt you can apply sticky white stuff to this weapon, can you? Since it's holy, it probably does not accept any kind of tincture. The claymore is cool, I like it. But, you know, it, it's kind of like one of those weapons where if you like the Black Knight Sword, it's basically a claymore that's cooler. Basically just a claymore, but cooler. 24? I'm not even close. That's a lot of strength, though. Happy Big Friday. I'm having a really good one. Anytime there's a car chase that's even remotely invigorating, that's always a good day. Because it's like an extra seasoning on my day. Thank you. And I like seasoning. Fucking barbecue this pig. That was sick. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're gonna just whiff, dude. <clears throat> I have pizza in the fridge. Oh, God. Ah, barely. What is this? I always forget. Psh, why would they put that shit there? Why did that guy even go there to die there? Oh, he probably fell from above and landed on that. I guess. You want some pizza? Hey, help yourself. I got a lot. I mean, I got two pizzas and I ate only a couple slices, so you're welcome to have some. Did you guys just see that? Did I just saw a go? Did you just see what I just saw? Did you just see what I just saw right there? I can't believe that just happened, dude. You saw it, right? I'm not tripping. I was clearly facing front ways. And this fucking guy. Delivery pizzas. Here's your cut. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Hey, thanks, Toad. Thanks. Thanks for the 10 bucks. Uh, and Tequium. And thanks. Uh, sh Shado and Silhouette and Play Ray. Jesus, that's the clip? Well, I don't feel like using my mouse, but that was crazy. My 40 year old homie just rage quit Minecraft? <laughs> That's cool. I've never played it. I'm not 40 yet though. I guess I could look forward to that. Hey, isn't this a balding uh, side sword user? Oh! Oh, if that was it, that would be so cool. That would have been so cool. Maybe I should use some humanity. That would have been cool. You can get lucky in Minecraft. 
I mean, dude, this is one of those things, like I said, if I've dated someone who has a child who's into something, then I can't really get into that thing. You know? GTA 5 RP, Minecraft, um, Five Nights at Freddy's, Pokemon, you know, all this shit. I can't get into this shit, dude. It's just, a, it's just not gonna happen. Whether or not it's for children is not the case. My first experience with these things were that they are designed for children. So when adults like them, I'm going to just assume that we have a case of, you know, one of those cases. It's 2024 now, so you're going to have to decide what case it is. But let's just say, yeah, one of well, those cases. You know, that's just like your opinion, man. Hey, if this was 2023, I would discuss in at great length. I would talk about how you can stuff that five dollars down your throat, and I would much rather pay you more than that amount of money. For you to fuck off and never come back. And I would mention to you that those types of donations are unwelcomed. And I would probably talk about... Uh, I would go on for a while. But because I've turned a new leaf, the kind you smoke, instead of doing that, I'm just going to say, Hey, thanks. Thanks very much, the dude. Uh, I really thought that was a... Um, Clever and welcomed message. Thanks, amigo. Uh, and thanks, Jabo Wabamamu, or whatever, and Toad. Oh, and by the way, guy who said all that shit, uh, don't do that shit again. Anyway, thanks. I'm going to go activate the elevator. He's a reformed rabbi? <laughs> Maybe I am. Maybe I'm a reformed rabbi. Hey, thanks, Hamet. Thanks very much. Happy New Year. Drink some water. Good idea. Thanks, gay dreamer. And Hamet, thanks again. <clears throat> I'm not skinny yet, but I'm gonna be. And not skinny. I'll still be probably fat. Thank you. We'll see. But I want to lose 40 before I'm 40. 40 before I'm 40 and 0 in 20. I'm gonna lose 40 pounds before I turn 40 and I'm gonna go the next 20 months without saying the n-word. <laughs> that is a guarantee. Alright? That is a guarantee. Both of those things. It can't be done? Watch this. I could do that. <laughs> it can't be done. <laughs> Dude, I could do it. If the papa can do it, I could do it. All right? If the papa can do it, I could do it. Thanks, Dota. Thanks, man. Uh, I got some souls to spend. <laughs> Thank you. Level up. Strength. Okay, so I opened the elevator. Now I got to go you. back to the elevator and get that sword. Get this dance. People are trying to talk. <clears throat> uh, don't talk. You know, just because I'm nice doesn't mean I won't get rid of you. I can quietly and silently, which is the same thing, uh, remove you permanently. And there, that is not even a, a matter of niceness. 
It's unrelated. Oh, fucking Chandler, stupid bitch. What the hell was that angle? Baldur's. Okay, this guy drops it. Damn, one shot. He didn't drop anything. Chandler is a 1 in 100 to drop his trident. This guy drops it too, right? Give it to me, pendejo. Oh! Leggings? <laughs> Fucking whack. All right, he dropped some pants. A fart J rolling two dads. Hey, thanks two dads and Kurugi and Rhino. And hollow number two. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, the side sword is sweet. It's like the best one in the whole game. I'm going to go upstairs and kill Chandler. And then if, you know, we'll see what he drops. And then after that, I'll go back downstairs and try and get the sword from those clowns. Oh, I could probably put on a cooler shield since I'm naked. Oh, man, maybe I should wear this guy's shield. It's pretty big. Damn, Captain America. Oh, they're buffed. Oh, ow. Fuck. I forgot that Chandler buffs these guys by dancing. Dance. Oh, thankfully my weapon one-shots them. Oh, but they'll one-shot me, though. Yeah, excuse me. And that's how it's done. That was sick. All right, perfect spacing, dude. This fucking guy. What's up, bitch? Oh. Whoa! I didn't know he has like a floating side Korean side teleport dodge. Give me your fucking sword, Pendejo. Wow! I didn't know that. That's cool. He like floats. What the fuck? Did you know that? I feel like I've never seen that before. But maybe I just forgot. Oh. He didn't drop shit. His drops go straight into your inventory. Ooh. Break time cutie pie. <laughs> it's not cutie pie, it's pumpkin pie. Get it straight, bitch. It's not cutie pie. All right. It's pumpkin pie to you. Baby girl. Baby girl. <laughs> so funny. He didn't drop shit. I'm gonna go back to Firelink. Sometimes when there's not that many, you know, there aren't that many games to play, I'll think to myself, like, man, it's too bad there aren't any games to play, right? But 
Then when I go and stream and I play something like this for hours and just basically run in circles and, and just talk shit to the chat, most of the time when that happens, basically it's like the best day in the office. Like at the end of the day, I just think like, man, that was so fun, you know? And that's really something that I should remember when I'm thinking, oh, too bad there's nothing to play. Really, I should be grateful that there's nothing to play because that lets me do what I want to do, you know, for free. I don't even have to spend 60 bucks on some shitty ass fucking game, uh, you know, just to play it for a couple hours and be pissed that it's all video games suck. Instead of that, I could just fire up something that I know I love every fucking time it's delivered, right? I'll play that shit with the chat, yell at a couple people, fucking call it a day. I mean, it doesn't get more fucking perfect than that. Feels good, man. <coughs> uh, let me highly recommend that you be very fucking careful what you say in here. It doesn't matter if it's 2023 or 2043. I don't give a fuck whether I'm being nice or not. If you say some shit that is unacceptable, I'm gonna erase you. I don't give a fuck about New Year's resolutions. Be very careful what you say in here, all right? This is not a fucking joke. Do you understand? Leave the jokes to me, all right? I'll say the stupid shit and get in trouble for it. You don't even need to get near any fucking stupid shit, all right? I'm not even kidding you. You better be on your best behavior. Don't take my kindness for weakness, bitch. And that, that's a lot of kindness. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like kindness, and I know it doesn't taste like kindness, but let me tell you it is, all right? It's not weakness, bitch. Be very, very careful. This sword is, I mean, this shield is pretty cool. I like the face that sun is making. The sun put on some eyeliner. She's looking cute. Well, Chandler's dead for good, so now I can comfortably kill these pendejos. What's up, bitch? Ah, cut this bitch in half. Oh! What the? What is this? Is that a thing? What the fuck, dude? What the fuck was that? It happened again. I think it's because I'm I'm fighting them unlocked. I don't know. Is it because I'm unlocked? Like I'm fighting them and kind of like moving side to side? Maybe I don't even know. What the fuck, dude? That shit was crazy. I know that both of those guys I was fighting unlocked. Maybe that has to do with it. Like he caught my side both times though? Both times were... Uh, I think both times were a little suspicious. That was rollback net code. Hey, what do you think happened to that pink asshole's fucking shaved prime rib nachos or whatever the fuck they were? What happened to that son of a bitch, dude? I've been thinking about those nachos for like fucking all week. He ate the nachos? Well, I want uh I want to hear it from the fat guy's mouth. Damn it. Tri-tip nachos? They were awesome. Oh, there he is. Damn it. I knew they were going to be awesome, but it's good to know that I was right. Good shit. That's cool. At least I'll be able to sleep now. They were awesome. <laughs> All right, then. All right, then. Case closed. Come on, why did that second one whiff? Oh, 
if that sparkles, I'm gonna be pissed. It didn't. Good. Had lamb donor cheese fries? God damn, man. What the fuck, dude? Could you guys chill out? Take it easy with this shit. I want to eat that. Dinner time smooth skin. It seems like you guys are definitely trying to get me to be hungry with all this one in a million talk. Maybe I should get this baller side sword. Man, that was such a fun stream, dude. It's like my favorite fucking thing to do. <laughs> it's tight. Didn't spend a penny. Didn't buy any shitty games. Didn't do anything I didn't want to do. And I, you know, yesterday, all joking aside, yesterday I was pretty rude to this one dude. I don't remember what he said. But I definitely was rude to him because I was frustrated and fucked that guy for making me... That, just talking about that guy makes me want to be rude to him again because he made me break my New Year's resolution. You know? To not be rude. So, I done shot that horse. You understand what I'm saying? So the way I see it, you know, that guy's a bitch. Uh, anyway, but fuck that guy. That guy's not the point. The point is that at the end of the day yesterday, I was thinking like, wow, I was rude to that guy. Fuck that asshole. Uh, but I wasn't that rude today to anyone, I don't think. I banned a couple people, but I mean, whatever, you know, that's still cool. Wasn't rude to anyone. So nice success. Nice work. I'm practicing for when Tekken 8 comes out. Tekken 8's gonna be full of a bunch of worthless, cock-sucking, just like, bottom. Hunt for Red October on DVD, dude. Literally, dude. Nobody fucking wants this shit. They're, these fans are about to be shrink-wrapped three for one. Shrink-wrapping these fucking fans together. No one wants these worthless fans, dude. No one wants them. Okay? And they're gonna be in here. They're going to be in here asking questions. They need answers. They want answers. Okay? And they want them now. So when that happens, either I could lose my mind or I could have full control over my mind and just be nice to them. Silently banning unwavering perseverance. That's the idea. Could happen. Gotta try. No honor. Ouch. Yeah, it does sound tough. But I could do it. That and 40 by 40. Is, those are my two big New Year's resolutions. I also want to really get to work on and perhaps finish my caprice that's like the next thing i want to do on my to-do list i kind of pretty much have a lead on where to take it i kind of found a shop but oh, i forgot these motherfuckers bury you <laughs> ah! i forgot that this jerk off <laughs> I could be rude to them, though, you know, it's questionable who is more human between those random balding balders and these assholes in the chat. That's questionable. Uh, this game has good AI. <clears throat> Thanks for Star Dragon and Mohawk. Thanks, Chets. Thanks very much. Thanks, Arnis and Sneaking Box. I'm Raul Montes, X Chin, Soda Cop, You Go Girls. Uh, thanks, uh, Lesbane Action. Two Dads Rolling a Fart J. And Karugi. Thanks, bros. What time is it? It's nine?
Dude, I just streamed for four hours, just like that. Man, you guys are good. It wasn't as funny of a Friday as I suspected, but I, I didn't think it'd be this good. Uh, excuse me, that was fast. But there's pizza in the fridge, and it's calling my name in Spanish. It's calling my name in Braille. I think I'm going to go and say hello to that pizza, and I'll tell it you said hello. I'll send it your finest, your regards. Um, I think there is a Street Fighter tournament happening tonight in Japan that No Pants told me about, but I'm going to be busy. And I'm not sure if there's anything going on this weekend, but I'm busy tomorrow. It's possible I'll stream tomorrow night. No promises. It depends on how tired I am. I'm going to be doing family stuff tomorrow. So that's that. But Sunday should be pretty much standard practice. Uh, we'll figure something out. Either way, thanks for the luck to acquire my axe. And thanks for all the generosity, especially that skeet guy from earlier. <laughs> I don't remember what his name is. What was his name? Something about Skeet. Oh, Crit Keeper. That was his name. Uh, that guy was mega generous. And everyone else, too. Thanks, guys. I'll see you guys in the sewer. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And thanks again. Take it easy. Lightning! <laughs> and shit.